Welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, everyone. So the Zanata challenge just opened up, um, where you've got to play as a Coglin Artifice of Uradelmnal, which uh, Coglin's a new drug, I think. It is new Uradelmnal, so that's why this challenge has been picked, I think. But you've got to... I'm not quite sure about some of these points. You've got to win using wep two weapons of different types of the whole game. Um, so it says uh, a scimitar and falchion both count as log blades, so they're both the same thing. So I'm not entirely sure how you do that, so you start as two weapons at the same time. Presumably it's as soon as you find a weapon of a different type, I'm not sure. That's a bit sketchy looking. Uh, what else is there? Armor. By the time you enter lair, the orcish mine steps or vaults. Use armor made of metal. Uh, this is limited to ring mail, scale mail, chain mail, plate armor. Crystal plate armor, I guess, is not metal. It's crystal, isn't it? Huh, okay. I guess that's true. I guess that probably is all the time. So, I mean, it says it's limited to those ones, so I guess it would be. Alright, cast two keepers dance at least 100 times. If you don't have the spell after collecting four runes of visiting 10 zig floors, you qualify for the conduct. Imagine finding it on the 10 zig floor, though, then. Because then you'd have to cast it 100 times after doing 10 zig floor. That would be terrible. Anyway, what else is there? Um, enslave at least nine uniques with your Delmnell's enslaved soul ability. How many uniques do you find in a game? That must just be every single unique you come across, right? Okay, then. Uh, have more collateral kills than direct kills and win the game. Do a search for Vanquish in your morgue file, which is accessible via the hash key. Okay. I mean, you do have your Delmdal zombies, but I am worried about that one. I'm feeling like this almost doesn't seem like a good fit for weapons, to be perfectly honest. What's something that's good at getting indirect kills? Um, and these are just for winning the game. Those milestones, that's easy enough. Right. Because you've got to use weapons of two different types, which discourages weapons anyway. Um, armor has to be at least ring mail, because it has to be metal. But you could totally cast a ring mail if you want to. Cast two keepers darts. So you've got to have two keepers darts going. Right. I really don't know how to do this one, actually, but, um, let's jump in and give it a try, but this might take multiple tries. Um, okay, then. So, we've got... Where's the Coglin? There are Coglins. They gotta be. Are they in VODs because they dual wield? They might be. Yeah, they are. And I got to start as an artificer. What? I, they start with the clubs? They start with two clubs or just one club? I've never started. I don't think I've started a Cogna Artificer, actually. Where is it? Um. Wait, where's the Artificer? Oh, they recommends an Artificer. Oh, I actually do start with different weapons. A club and a dagger. That's good, because that's uh, allowed by the challenge. Okay, well, I'll start with just a little bit of fighting. How's my intelligence? Ten. Not a lot. Um, right. I don't have your Delm not yet. I'm just worried that I don't know how to get those collateral kills. Uh, there's a lot of guys to start. This might not be very good at all. What do I start with? I start with some ones. Um, can I just charm this dude? Because I feel like I'm in a bad situation. Okay, I think that might have done the trick. Uh, that little hound can't get around, can it? Oh, not more guys. Um, it's gotta tell my guy which one to go for because it's trying to go through the water. Hey, there we go. Die. That's maybe to my advantage. Right. This is not the easiest start to the game ever. Having a whole bunch of dudes ambushing me. I was quite a lot of guys again. Uh, no, nah, it's not working very well. I think I'm going to have to throw out another charming to keep me going here as well. Ooh, no, it resisted. Okay. I'm trying to get that jackal beaten up, because that's one of the tougher ones. Ah, it didn't die. Oh, there we go. Got rid of it. Okay, now I can probably... <coughs> probably rest up or something, I hope. Um... Got a rope. I've got a... It's by the lair that I've got to get myself metal armor, right? At the moment, I can just wear whatever. But I probably 
do I want to go for heavier armor? I still don't know exactly what I'm trying to do with this character. Um, <coughs> huh. It's getting the collateral kills that I'm kind of worried about with this character. That's the main thing. All right. Uh, I should have gone down this way. What am I doing? All right, well, I can grab the darts. I don't think there's any restrictions on what sort of skills I'm allowed to trade. Do I want to go with Dex, Strength? Um, I'm going to be where I probably play. There's more Strength weapons. Like, there's not a lot of Dex weapons. Because I don't think you can really use a Rage weapon properly. Um, I might go with Strength. The other thing is trying to get into something and go like full on spellcasting. That if I have to attempt this again, I'll probably try for a spellcasting character. Um also I've got my wand quivered up. I shouldn't have that one because I could accidentally waste charges if it's quivered up. So I do tend to accidentally press my quiver sometimes. Alright. I'm not sure if I want to fight two keepers dance or not. I mean, if I do, it would be quite fun to use. Oh, it's a two-handed weapon. I don't think I'm allowed to use two-handed weapons. That was a restriction, just one-handed weapons, which makes sense. Um, also, range doesn't make any sense, because you got to use different kinds of weapons. I don't think range and melee go well together. All right, well, a mace is fine. Uh, set up my club here. There we go. There's a whip. Um, I I'm not allowed to use the whip with the mace because they're both mace and flails. I am, however, allowed to use this rapier on my offhand, I think. I might do that instead of the dagger because it's just a plus zero dagger. It's not even good. All right. Well, that's the first level of the dungeon, I guess. That was pretty easy. Let's just head on down. Um, how am I going with the scrolls? No piles of scrolls looking like I could read them or anything just yet. Well, I brought these guys back to the staircase. It probably made sense. Fight them one at a time rather than find them both out in the open. Um, I still haven't decided what sort of weapons I want to use, but the, my offhand is definitely not going to be a short blade, I think. Although short blades don't need a huge amount of skill. It's just I'm going for strength, so... Ah, oh, large attack is two-handed. Can't use that. Yeah, I mean, there's lots of strength weapons. Like, you could have an axe and a mace, or a, those cross-train, right? I probably want a couple of things that cross-train, and that would probably work. All right. Oh, can I wear gloves? I can, right? So there's plus one gloves of Rampage Cold Resist 3 strength. That's pretty good, because I um, struggle to get resist as a Coglin, so yeah, I'll definitely put this one on. It's not going to help you with a fire, though. That would definitely be a bad idea to walk through that. And it's only the title of gold, but it looks at things anyway, so it might not even be worth coming back for. Maybe if I'm very slightly short of being able to make a purchase or something. Uh, I'm not getting any indirect kills at the moment because I don't have any zombies on me, and that's kind of what I'm worried about. Is there a spell that's good at getting indirect kills? I mean, obviously there's... Uh, what's it called? What is it called? Discord. That one could get indirect kills. But that's like an eighth level spell. Um, I guess two Kima's dance technically can, because the dancing weapons could get some kills for you. Oh, could I? Okay, idea for next character. Be a summoner. Oh, hey, Sally. Uh, how do you Coglins work? You never played one? They dual wield. Um... They also don't get rings and amulets. Instead, that 14th level, they get a gizmo, I think it's called. Oh, it's Mufat's ghost, a weakling spring and alchemist. 216 hit points. I mean, that's a classic spring. Do they even do damage? Six damage. Hmm, I could probably take them on. Yeah, so yeah, their main thing is dual wielding. That's definitely their main thing. Uh, you can even dual wield stubs if you get lucky enough to find a couple of stubs. I dubbed, like, one Coglin Mage, but I, oh, you're not allowed to start as a summoner, but I reckon trying to pivot into a summoner would actually not be a terrible idea. Oh, no, that would, that is Robin. Come on, I think I can make it back to the staircase. I think I got this under control. Okay, I can pull one of these guys back. If I had have stayed there, I would have absolutely got surrounded and died. There would have been no chance of surviving that one. Oh, there's Robin again. I've got to retreat back. I don't think they noticed me yet. Oh, the Rampage into a million goblins. Yup.
Nope, that's uh... Somewhere you've got to be a little bit careful. What are they saying to me? A pitiful goblin like you will never find the orb. Wow, they even get snarky goblin lines. <laughs> that's really cool, because uh, I think that technically they're a goblin or they're a hobgoblin. They're a goblin, right? Maybe not. They might be a hobgoblin. Maybe that's why they've been so snarky to me. Anyway, I can put on a helmet. I'm allowed to do that. I mean, I guess the way you really tell is, like, what sort of body they leave when they die, right? Like, if it's a hobgoblin one or a goblin one. Um, what do I want? I mean, I'd probably get Mace of Flails. Because I reckon I'll be using those. I just haven't figured out what my offhand's going to be just yet. Maybe Axes. Do Polops don't, like, cross train with Mace and Flails, do they? I don't know, I guess I'll find out pretty soon. Should start... Shouldn't it start, like, highlighting some of these things with cross-training? I guess I don't have enough skill yet. Um... Alright, let's just, uh... Leave what's-his-name there. What's it, what is his name? It's not Sigmund, he's the other one. He's not Edmund. Terrence, that's the guy. Whoa, what's he shooting at me? A poison dart? I don't use the hobgoblins having poison darts, but apparently that one did. In fact, you know, a summoner actually makes a ton of sense for, um... Oh, what's the name? Uh, Zanatta, anyway. Because he does summon all the dancing weapons. So yeah, I reckon that's, uh, that's the idea of the future attempt at this. I know you start as an artificer, which would make kind of a bad summoner. Because he wouldn't have any summoning spells, but hey. Have I found any metal armor yet? I really wouldn't mind some. Uh, leather armor, animal robes, okay. Well, that's fine. I've got to tell Lair to find, uh, metal armor, so I'm fine with that, I guess. One of these dudes with a pole arm? Hmm, oh well. I guess it just gets a little bit of extra damage. I could grab its pole arm. I'm technically allowed to use it, so I'm cross threading with axes and staves. Because I got to use two different types of weapons. I feel like axes is not a bad idea. But uh, on the other side, like, there are some pole arms that don't require much skill at all. Like, uh, demon trines, I think, only require 14 skill, right? That is a bit more skill, so either could work. Uh, still got my wands. I don't know if I, I haven't been getting any skill for those in a while. Just got straight up fighting skill. There we go. That's metal armor. So you start here. I might bring him back to the staircase. Because when he goes up the staircase, all the summons disappear. Um, which I might just bring him up the staircase. I might actually get my health back. I don't know if this fight's going so well. Okay. I think that's fine, but I'm getting kind of surrounded. I might just head back to this corridor. Because it seems resting over here is not the safest place to rest up. Uh, I just have to leave you, Starshio. Oh. So that's not working so well. Because he's not doing his blinky away from me thing at the moment. This is actually pretty bad. I'm going to try one of these potions. So I got uh, invisibility. Okay. Yeah, good. I'm getting away from him. He's, uh, no, he's way too tough. There's no way I can kill him. Anyway, there's a metal armor. So chain mail. I should put that on. Six armor class, ten evasion. Eleven armor class, six evasion. Slight improvement. And it's also metal armor, which is what I'm after. Uh... And my, what, quest to seek cheeser or something? There's a ring mail here as well, but I think I'll keep with my heavier armor. Yeah, this character's just decided to be a heavy armor bashing character. Um, effectively. Oh, this tempo. I might get my Uradel now. Come on. Is that Uradel now? Hey, it's Uradel now. Excellent. That's what I want to see. That's a god for this challenge. Oh, and now I get my little zombies in, so hopefully they start getting some auxiliary kills. That's what I'm mainly worried about this time around, is that they, um... Yeah, they're not gonna get me enough auxiliary kills. Step back once I get that guy highly wounded. And it's gonna be a slightly painful game, but hey, that's fine. Oh, whoops, I killed that one myself, but oh well. Sometimes you can't avoid it. Yeah, especially with the creatures like one hit type thing. 
Oh, I'm gonna lose all my dudes. Can I raise the torch yet? I can. In fact, I should have lit the torch. Let's go light a torch on this level. I don't yet get creatures when I light the torch. Um. Ooh, that's looking kind of tough. Or maybe not. But I do start getting the piety once I light the torch, so it's definitely worth it. Have I not seen a single axe this time round? Oh, you just have to try and be a summoner, you think? Yeah, I think that's uh, future attempts are definitely going to try being a summoner. Ooh, a scuff resistance. I don't know. Maybe I can turn this guy into a summoner. Let's see, what have I got? Cool K9 familiar. Hmm. Is it too late to try and turn this character into a summoner? Oh, whoops. Ah, I lost all my zombies. I didn't have many, but uh, I should be a bit more careful with that. I think it already tells you, like, after you've lost them as well. Okay, let's go to the ring mail, because it's probably perfectly usable. So, Cool Cannon Familiar is on, like, 90% failure. You know what? I'm going to give it a try. I, I know I don't have much int, and I did increase my strength one, but I think if I get a little bit of summoning here, just, like, six summoning, I might be able to have a Cannon Familiar with me, and I might be able to go full on summoner, hopefully. Oh, it's got two throwing there. It's not just one of them. Um... It's not even following properly, like it's not even throwing its nets properly is what I meant. I was trying to pull it back and get it to throw its nets, but it was refusing. Oh, no, no, go. Um. Hold up. Okay. There we go. Got rid of the ogre. That seems to have done the trick. Oh, what were the other challenges? Let me go look at the rules again. I just uh, don't want to mess these up. So I've got to enslave at least nine uniques, but I don't have that ability yet. I'm just hoping I don't, I don't spend too long before I get that one, because that feels kind of sketchy, to be honest, trying to enslave nine uniques. I'm just not sure how many uniques you find in a realistic game. I thought really realistic to get it was uh, just you were Delve Dog. Yeah, I figured it might not be. That's the dude with a net. Oh, there's two. These guys are all going fast. Um, oh, come on. I didn't want the zombie to step up the front. I just wanted to kill it back at a bit of a distance. How's the K9 going? 50%? Okay. Well, I'm halfway there. Halfway to the K9. Oh, you can always go to a pan or abyss for more summon kills later. That's true. Um... Yeah, in fact, if I don't find, uh, what's this called? Oh, what is it called? If I don't find two Kima's Dance, I'm gonna have to go to the, um, oh, that's not great. I just warp this guy. I'm gonna go to the Ziggurat. That made that even worse. I'm gonna try, oh, a curing. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, do I think I tried warping it again. Oh, it just ran straight up to me. Maybe an Ice Blast. I'm not going to get more Ice Blasts, those are like the last ones I'm going to get. I don't feel like I'm playing this character properly. Okay, let's uh, light my torch. Oh no. Not so many priests. <sighs> Probably fine, I'll just go up. It's not like I lose anything because I don't... Oh, does my torch unlight itself when I go up? Oh, this is a really not a great way of getting piety. Um... Ow. Try to get this guy somewhere where I could warp it, but that did not work particularly well. Um. Oh, man. Okay. Hopefully. A oh, 22% failure on the cool canine familiar. Okay, that might be. That might help out a little bit. Let's see if I can. Not die from poison here? That would be nice. I'm dying from poison, aren't I? Um, I could try and charm this guy. It doesn't work that well. I think I just killed this guy, but I'm a bit worried about my health right now. Okay. Something is doing well, but I want some... Spellcasting is minus two. I might just get a little bit of uh, that, but I mainly just want something, I think, at this point. Uh, get out the familiar, the canine familiar. All right. 
Um, I should probably heal my canine familiar so it doesn't die on me. That's probably a good idea. How many magic points I got? Nine. So not a huge amount of magic points, but summon to start off like reasonably magic efficient, I guess. Come on, summon. Oh, come on. I just tried to heal my summon and it's not working very well. There we go. Finally got the creature I was after. Did I raise my torch? I can't because I did I stuffed this level up. I've stuffed up my uh, first few levels so badly, but oh well. Um I'm sure there's still time to make things right. Oh, there's a shop in here. Ring shop, really? Man, it's just taunting me for playing Conklin at this point. It's like, hey, you're playing Conklin? Have a ring shop. I mean, it might have a uh, talisman, but I probably don't really need those either. Because, in fact, I've got to keep my armor on, so I don't think I can actually use that. No, I can't even use the more talisman. All right, then. At least my dog can see this guy, even if it goes invisible. Uh, you can almost use a polar, but I don't, I mean, actually, I could. Because I haven't got any short blade skills, so yeah, let's, uh, put one in my offhand. I'm not allowed to use two pole arms, though. Alright. Hopefully I can do my lighting and torch courageously in here, and not end up, uh, having to put it out by going up a staircase. Ooh, come on, be some summoning. Blink cool ebb. I mean, I can take a cool ebb, I guess. Oh, where'd my little guy go? I think it timed out. Uh, this is not looking good. Ooh, why did it move back there? I have no idea. But that was a good spot for it to move, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, I can actually attack this guy, can't I? Wow, my summons hopefully kill it. There we go. Wait, oh, I probably should have moved back a bit more before I did some summoning. All right. Come on, Hound. Let's bring... Oh, uh, I guess that's fine. I'll just stand back here and just keep my Hound nice and healthy. Just trying to bring it back somewhere where my Hound would get uh, suddenly killed or something. My Hound's probably going to, like, time out. Yeah, there we go. That's a problem. It likes, like, just too long um, for a single combat. But not long enough for multiple combats. Right, I need end because I'm really bad with the end. The strength is not going to be wasted, though, because I am going to be wearing ring mail for, like, the rest of the game. So, oh, no. Um, I do have one cold resist, so I can probably just ice blast. Oh, whoops, I ran back too fast there, because this guy noticed me. Um, try to bring out the little limp, but this is, oh no, there's a guy that can smite. What do I have here that could be useful? I gotta try random potions and see what I get. I get almost killed. Oh no, this guy could definitely kill me. I don't have my stuff identified. I should have identified my stuff. Because I really don't know what these potions are or nothing. Um, if I move back, do I get smited? It gets a couple of chances to smite me, which it probably will take, unfortunately. Uh, one of those is gonna, like, kill me. Um... See quite far, yeah. I'm gonna step back, but like, it's probably not gonna go for my creatures. Maybe it will. Oh, that's better. I don't know where to run though, because the only place I can run is back to the staircase, and then I lose my torch. But I mean, it's better losing my torch than dying, right? Oh, I just gotta go up. Yeah, because otherwise I'm dead, because I don't have enough health to survive a. Um, smites there, just straight up be dead, unfortunately. Oh, how does Beyond Conversion work? Why is it not an option here? I think it's not an option here because I have a god already. I'm pretty sure you only get offered when you're, um, not worshipping a god, if I remember correctly. But yeah, once you get to low health, I don't know, it might be less than 50% or something, you should get offered it if you don't have a god already. Um, oh. Ah, uh, wait, I confused my ally with mine. I was trying to resummon it, but obviously that doesn't extend its duration. 
I do have a cold resist here, so maybe I should just be next to the Ice Beast. It's probably a good idea. Just uh, do a little bit of tanking for my guys. Uh, it's another one of these priests absolutely smiting me. I could run back to a staircase again. This is not how you get your Del no piety, but it is um, keeping me alive, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna run away from these guys. Hopefully, I don't have to go up. Hopefully, I can just hide in this corner until um, yeah, until I get my health back. That's better. All right, keep my keep my hound healthy because it's basically the only thing I've got right now. Um. <laughs> Got plate armor of willpower. I'm technically allowed to wear this plate armor, but I don't think it's the right thing to wear right now. In fact, I'm technically allowed to use one star for this character. Oh, no. What do I have to kill a hornet? Um... Okay. Got us around it now, what? Um, can't even throw a net at it because there's not like a nice little way to get to it. Oh no, that's gonna get up to me. Oh my guys just died. Um, can I charm like something here? There's gotta be something I can charm, right? The Haunted itself? Come on, it's 50%. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Oh, I killed my hound and died anyway. Oh, come on. I think I can just... Whoops, that's not the right way to do that. I think it's gonna just run back until I can get my hound back. There we go. Then get rid of the Hornet. Um, hmm. The Hornet's gonna turn to hostile on some stage. Yeah, there it goes. I'm gonna try and heal up my hound as much as possible. No, it got paralyzed. And he's gonna have to zap this guy with a wand, I think. Like a wand of... Ice Blast? That should do it right there. We go. Got all the odd of ice blast. Um, what have we got on the ground here? Rig mail of poison resist. Yes, please. I'll take that because I've got, I have to wear metal armor, and rig mail is like the lightest metal armor. These insects. Yeah, insects are terrifying. There's little bees everywhere. <laughs> These are poison resist now, right? So, oh, am I allowed to shield? I don't think so, right? Ah, oh, that's not it. That's titles. Um. Use two weapons of different types for the whole game. Forgoing shields and two added weapons. Okay, well that's pretty clear about the fact that I'm not allowed to use a shield. Uh, summing's 10. That's pretty good. I'll just get the spell casting up a little bit, I think. What other spells are there here? So I'm allowed to use basically whatever spells I like. Like, get blink, get... I mean, I can even get a horse for a scanner or something, but it's not technically summoning. Uh, even though it does summon any little cannons, it's, yeah, technically not, right? Oh, it's meant to be identifying my scrolls. What am I doing? Let me go identify some stuff. Um, let me just go hide in this corner and identify some stuff, like, right now. Because one of these might be what I want. That one is, in fact, what I want. So I've got, uh, teleports there. Oh, please update your window to the Zanata page, as there are two edits for clarity. Oh, there are? It's been edited already? Oh, there are two. Uh, edit and unarmed. Wait. Use two different weapon types the whole game. Foregoing shields, two-handed weapons, and unarmed. Right, so I'm not allowed to use unarmed. Interesting. Whereas before I was. Uh, cogs require 10. Okay, that's fine. You can have that body armor melded if you want. Oh, okay. So I'm allowed to go statue form if I want. Interesting. I think those were the updates right. Huh. Well, I was vaguely thinking of, like, unarmed um, earlier when I thought that I'd, uh, I'd start with two of the same type of weapon, but when I realized that you started with two different types of weapons, like, oh, I don't actually have to go one unarmed. Alright, well, let's go downstairs. I'll raise the torch. It still doesn't give me anyone. Probably because I don't have any... Uh... 
Invocation skill, maybe? Don't know. Not entirely sure on that one. But, um, yeah, so the changes don't matter for me. But, yeah, definitely know that I'm not allowed to unarm this upon. Oh, that's way too tough. Four ghosts. Five ghosts. Who have we got? We've got... Unipix Ghost, an Oni Monk of Okawaru, they got 111 health, is way more than me. Got Joe Steele's Ghost, Minotaur Fighter of Okawaru, got uh, Bong Cheong Dong's Ghost, a Gargoyle Earth Element of Sith Mana. Hey, they're not of Okawaru, they do have Stone Arrow for 3 to 15 damage though, so I don't want to fight them. Another Bong Cheong Dong's Ghost, this one's a Merfolk Monk of Okawaru, hey, that's fitting the Okawaru theme. We've got, uh, 1N5Z's ghost. A pa no, purple draconian shapeshifter of Wujin. Oh, yeah. So it's not quite a uh, gathering of Okawaru worshippers, but like half of them were Okawaru worshippers. Well, I'm allowed to cloak, aren't I? Excellent. Hey, so it's this changing room, which technically I'm allowed forms, right? There's a manual shape-shifting alchemy manual. Maybe you need the alchemy. We'll see what I get in spells. The staff of alchemy with lots of willpower. Ooh. I like to look at that staff. Because I'm allowed to have a staff in one of my hands. Um, As one of my weapons, I think. That's a lot of ghosts for dungeon level 8. And yeah, it's like all the people that died at their level group together. There's mutation here and there's... Lignification. Lignification. I'm technically allowed the lignification because I'm allowed to melt my armor, right? I might save up for that stuff, though. Yeah, that end was actually kind of helpful in terms of, like, lignification and stuff. Um, I'm gonna be smited this whole time, aren't I? Try to get, like, less of these guys in view, because I don't think... Uh, can they smite from out of view? I'm not sure they can. They certainly can't smite me. Oh, my hound is dying. I'm out of magic points. That doesn't work. <sighs> Gotta run these guys around the corner so I get some... <laughs> run around the circles, I mean, until I get some magic points back. It's a little bit of a shame, but I can't exactly leave the level, so I can't just go upstairs. Oh, whoops. What have I done? I run myself into a corridor. Uh, hmm. It's attacking me. I might let it attack my hound for a little while because I'm feeling a little wounded. I got a little pull up, dude. Minus two spear. I mean, it's always got a negatively enchanted spear. It's not too bad at minus two. Hey, evening, Dennis Blood Nook. How's it going there? The challenge has just started if you want to try the Zanata challenge here. Yeah? It started, what, uh, 38 minutes back or something? <laughs> yeah, some of the challenges on this one are reasonably hard. Um, I feel like summon is probably the only real way to do this. Um, maybe. Except, like, a summoner that uses two Kima's dance. I gotta get that one going. Sif Mata, I'm not allowed Sif Mata. Also, my party's still zero. That doesn't sound very good. I know, I've been, I know there was a few levels there where I was really bad with my party, but I would have expected to have, like, one by now. Uh, it's obvious it's going to have to die, because I can't really get in there to save it. Come on, heal the, heal the hound. Oh no, I killed my hound. Oh well, it's fine. The guy's almost dead. So there's uh, there's some sort of spear here? It looked... Oh, it's not the web. Huh? There it is. Plus three trident. That's what I was trying to find. I knew there was some sort of magical trident. Um, I'm gonna replace my trident with that trident. I still haven't found a better base of flails, but I'll probably just replace my base of flails with a staff once I find one of those. Oh, you confess you're building up uh, to June hack? Your dear friend Jay is one of the top net hack speedrunners, and, is, and it's good to give it a go again every few years. Yeah, I should give net hack a go at some stage. Uh oh, I'm gonna bring these dudes up. Certainly sounds interesting. Okay. Oh, really? 
These are just not looking like areas that I can do, unfortunately. So I can get... Do I need more? I mean, I'll get a little bit more of the shape-shifting. I'll just get eight on the spellcasting. Might just have to get some, like, more, like, fighting skill or something at some stage, maybe. All right, well, I think this is somewhere where I can raise my torch, because I think I'm okay at the moment. Ooh, paralysis, interesting. But yeah, if I have to go up now, there's some actual stakes. Um... <coughs> Because I wouldn't be able to raise my torch again. What do I want to do with the elephant? That looks kind of tough. Yeah, maybe it's not too bad. Um, I think I just keep on stabbing it. Yeah, there we go. Stab back a little bit so that the creature, like, attacks my summons instead of me. Is the heavy hat attacks? I mean... I'm technically allowed to use that. I don't know if it will be much benefit. Oh. That's a lot of priests. Can I get them? I lost my helm, which is good. It's like it timed out, um, which is exactly what I was after. Oh. I think I'm going to run upstairs and lose my torch. No wonder I'm getting no piety, though, because I just keep on having to do that. Like... Over and over and over. It's really bad. Um, very decent portal. I mean, I should read some of these identifiers here we've got. So I've got amnesia. I might need that eventually. Probably will, actually. I've got poison. I've got heal wounds. Heal wounds is great. Shantam. I've probably got something to enchant, maybe. Um, I may probably just dump it on my helmet, I think. Oh, my cloak. I'll do it my helmet. It doesn't really matter too much. Switch ever, I feel like I'd be least likely to replace. Ooh, an artifact. This could give some stats. Resist electric two will power. See it visible? Yes, please. See even plus nine spears. So that's going in my spear hand, of course, because I'm not allowed to use two spears. Come on, come around this corner, little guy. There we go. Whoa! It's got a wand of warping, and I didn't think it could actually target me with that one, but apparently there was a little spot in there where it could zap it in. Try and keep my guy Kelsey, just don't want it to die on me, my little hound, because then I can't bring it back. Um, that dude looks fairly tough. Oh no. Just like one hit my hound. I know my hound was on like half health or something, so I guess it's not. Too unexpected, unfortunately. Okay, that's better. It's actually fighting me, and I'm doing the tanking, so the podcast is distant. All right. Loud cracking. I mean, there's definitely a chance that I'll make it in time. Nope, it's it's done for. Yeah, the walls and floors just vibrated as I moved here, so nope, not getting into that one. Ooh, two-headed ogre. What can I do to a two-headed ogre? I can... I don't know. Get rid of some of these bees. Oh, it moved up to me. That's kind of bad. Let me just put it in a net. Uh... I wonder if the new cannon spells count for collateral. I'm not sure, because they're not technically a summoning, right? So maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm going to acid the uh, two-headed ogre. There we go. Oh, I need to be slightly closer to get the bear. But no, I should get plenty of collateral with uh, summons, um, just like normal summons. I think the cannons might be allowed... Are they allowed with Okawaru? Because I think they might not count really as summons. Um, oh, my familiar technically is still alive. I thought it would, had gone by now. Uh, I think it was just hiding around the corner. All right, well, I can enchant something up. I can enchant up. I'll do my cloak. I might find, like, a scarf resistance or something. We'll see. Oh, I already have a scarf resistance. Oh, maybe I should have done my cloak. I mean, it doesn't matter yet, but at some stage I'll probably just put on the scarf resistance. Also, I still have no piety, which is kind of sad. Um, 
At least I can light a torch on this level, but this guy is going to be reasonably tough. Oh, no. It killed my dog. Of course it did. I can hit it with some acid, at least. Oh, you want to use the new spells? Yeah, that's fair enough. I understand that. No, definitely. Um, What can I even do to this guy? I can throw poison darts at it, but I don't feel like they would do the most. I might as well use my poison now and then. If I hit it with a whopping, it'll probably end up in the poison, right? <sighs> Come on. Or just sit there until it dies. I guess that works uh, just fine. I gotta check for summoning spells, but I don't think I found anything new. No, I've still just got... Got a ton of ice stuff. Like, I've got, um... Frozen Ramparts, Aussie Cuba's armor, Hawfrost Cannon Age. Oh, what was that last one? Metabolic and Glaciation. All right. Uh, it's gonna kill my hound, isn't it? Uh, maybe not. They're gonna give me curare eggs, so like, I was needing that with all the ogres that are around. It's gonna be something to deal with the two headed ogres. Okay. Uh, kind of a lot of guys here, but I'm hoping that as my guys kill them, yeah, I get kind of replacements to fill up the spaces. Okay. Summoning on 12. What do I want to get? I mean, I get some... I get some invocations to see if I can get my uh, abilities better so I can get the... I mean, I've already kind of got a recall on dead. Hopefully I get some... I've got... Thankfully got my first point of piety, but hopefully I can get something else. Also, I get a little bit more skill by once. So I haven't been using them too much, but I've been using them a little bit. And I might just bring up the fighting just a tiny bit. Um, but as soon as I get more spells, like more summoning spells, I'll just go straight back into summoning. Because that's generally what it makes sense to do on a summoner. It's a good thing that, like, summoners are really tough, because I think this character's kind of very suboptimal, um, <laughs> in terms of, like, their ends and stuff. Oh, whoops. Ah, I got my hound killed. It's probably still fine. Shane? No, ring me cold resist. I think I'm doing pretty well with the cold resist, because I got the gloves. Gotta get rid of the, like, the summoning guys first, because those ones are gonna get, uh, they're gonna build up and become a problem if I don't get rid of them nice and quick. Oh, how do I get those identifies? Why is Zen guarding some scrolls if I identify? I mean, I guess I just don't get those identify scrolls. Which is a bit of a shame, because I got plenty of stuff to identify. The Rampage is a little less useful now, but I guess it's still okay. It's not like a harmful thing, really. Um, so double dungeon level 10. I'll do dungeon level t 11, not 12. Uh-huh. Whoops. Well, I said to go to the staircase. There we go. And then I'll go head on into the lair, which... Have I even found yet? I have found it. That's right. I had a thing for this guy. I had a curari dart. What else do I have for this guy? I mean, not much. Gotta kind of keep it nice and distracted, I think. Oh, it's focusing on my hound, except it's getting itself killed. It's almost dead. I can t finish off with... Can I just finish off with a flame? No. Of course not. Okay. Um, I've, I haven't raised my torch yet, have I? I doubt it would summon a creature. I'm just thinking about whether I should. Um, I might just kill this guy and then raise my torch, I think. Oh, it did summon some guys. That could have even let me finish off the battles if I had known it was going to summon in some guys. But I, I didn't know it was going to summon in guys just yet. Oh, no, roll chat. I don't have willpower, right? Oh, I do, because I have my spear in my offhand, right? So... What do I do? I mean, she can't banish me, which is nice. I guess I just sneak up with my army. Oh, no. She killed my dog. <sighs> Paralysis is probably not going to work, but I'll give it a try. No, it did not work. Oh, how did she get up to me? Okay. 
There we go. Got rid of her. Okay. That's not at all what I wanted to see. I still got minus dog, which is really bad. Um, I had this guy with some acid, but then what? What have I even got? I've got Charmeg. Oh, I can get my dog back out, and I can get my imp back out. There we go. That did the trick. And that was throwing some reasonably tough creatures at me. So let me just get around this corner. Oh, that didn't work so well. I was trying to bring it back closer, but I've got our slow Cyclops as well, so I didn't actually bring it up that much. Um, I still got a... I might just use a Poison Dart, but I probably want to Curare this guy as well. Let's uh, slow it down. Alright, now I've got my little beetle as well of my army to help me out. So I've got some identifier that I can use on... Oh, what do I even have to identify? I've got a nice little potion here of uh, Brilliance. That's actually helpful. I like it when my potions are actually helpful. Agility, does that help? Um, gives me a little... No, it probably doesn't even give me a page. I don't think that's massively helpful, this character. Got a charm weapon. I'm still using, like, this random plus zero base, but... Okay, we've got scale mail of cold resist. What even is my armor? It's a poison resist ring mail. Scale mail is kind of heavy. It does give a couple of ends, so that somewhat makes up for it being heavy, but probably not perfectly. Hmm, I did get slowed. Just stab back and keep on buffing my hound, although it wasn't actually the focus of the attacks there, so it wasn't too bad. Oh, another one of these little boulder beetles. Alright. Where'd it go? There it is. I just keep on throwing some poison in it. Oh, agility didn't vanilla remove that? Oh, yeah, it wasn't like a potion of uh, agility. It was um, getting decks to level up. It says, I think it says something like you feel agile or something. But yeah, so it was actually just decks. Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, potion of uh, agility were, in fact, removed at some stage. I don't know, I'm gonna get more summoning. <laughs> Seems a little excessive though. Given that I'm not finding a lot of spells, um... Alright, let's go to the lair! Let's raise the torch. I do get some dudes. Maybe it's based on my piety. Because I got one pip of piety and I think that's when it first started giving me dudes. But I really got to rush to the, the piety up to the point where I could get the... Oh, of course, they don't have jewelry. Um, can you even get Faith of the Conklin? Maybe not. But it'd be nice to rush the piety up to the point where I can start, like, soul-binding stuff. Oh, up to two pips of piety. That's nice. Oh, no. I didn't quite get my hand on time. I was about to buff it and it died on the same time I was about to buff it, but that's fine, I guess. Oh, I think Hellfire Modder does count? Ooh, quite possibly. Unfortunately, not a summoning, but maybe. That would be interesting, because it does... Um, how do you even tell what gets indirect kills? Like, it's not something you usually worry about. It's like something you have to specifically check your... Uh, morgue file at the end, oh, end of a game for... um. That's a lot of dudes. I've mainly finished this level. Oh, they're kind of close to the staircase. How's the torchlight at them? Uh, there's no way this actually works, is there? I think I just around me when I come back down. I might just have to use like a teleport scroll or something. I still got my minus dog, which is not great. Can I just warp this guy away until I can get that back? Alright. Super sketchy. I think I've got to read a teleport scroll before I go down, otherwise I'm just going to die. Uh... <laughs> I wouldn't mind going a little bit further than that with the teleport, but hey, I guess it's a start. There we go. Okay, can I get like a down staircase going here that I can bring some dudes to if I need to? Oh. Cause an entity teleports me, which means I'm probably just going to have to activate my torch and do this level. Oh well. That's fine, I guess. Um, and then on the way back up, I can try and kill some of those death yaks, I think. Or you can also uh, look at the character dub. Not the... Not the layer one death yaks, no. Uh, it's definitely the layer one death yaks. Yeah, you can do the character dubs to check that sort of thing. Um, 
I guess that would give you a good idea. Ooh. Do zombies have blood? My hound definitely has blood. Um... Can almost throw the curare at it, but not quite. <sighs> How died? I was trying to buff it up too, but it died, unfortunately. It wasn't quite good enough with my buffs. Yeah, that looks like it did some stuff when I did the warping in there at least. Um Oh, six handed Hydra. What do I have that can kill a six handed Hydra? Um. I mean, Flaming won't do much. I can warp it. Hirari won't do much. What else do I have? I've got. I mean, not a lot, honestly, to be perfectly fair. Oh, does Hound have blood? Isn't it some magical spirit dog? It is some magical spirit dog, but it's still got blood, unfortunately. <laughs> It's a magical, blood-filled spirit dog. Really hit my imp? Yeah, unfortunately so. Right, because the hell torch lights only the undead are like uh, mute to it. Ooh, what have we got? Sublimation of blood, curse of agony, rhyme blight. Oh, it's another like, ice spell. Um. I wonder what the Rhyme Blight counts as, like, indirect kills when the things, like, just die from the Blight. Probably not. Am I resistant to electricity? Yeah, I am too, because I got a spear on my offhand. <laughs> it's also a really hard resist to get, so I'm glad I've got it. Uh, I could probably drop some of these random junk I'm carrying around, like, all these plus zero daggers and stuff, all the whips and all that sort of thing. I mean, oh, do I have gloves? Um, yes. Yes? I'm missing boots. And I'm missing a gizmo. Gizmo is two levels away, so I'm actually getting... Not that close, honestly. <laughs> oh, that's right, my gloves are the cold resist rampage ones. They're actually really good. Um, oh, what did I forget to add my bot this uh, morning? Let me go add that bot, I think. That definitely should be there. Not that I need it hugely, but... Alright, robot should be back in chat, so you should be able to just do Rhyme Blight. Uh, do I have a page name Rhyme Blight? Is that spelled wrong? It looks correct. It's probably just not been added yet. Um... I don't know, it looks fine to me. <laughs> Alright, well, that's Lair 2 done. Where can I go? I mean, it does, uh, Lair 1, I think, was where I was trying to go. And I was trying to get one of these Death Yaks. Uh... Just one, though. I don't want all of them. Okay, Death Yak, where are you? Okay. Ooh, ow. I gotta keep my health very healthy. I gotta watch that health. Oh, I I'm trying to heal it and it's still lost health. Right, well, let's, uh... You know what? I might just go down and I might kill those later because they actually seem kind of tough. I'm not sure about that. Oh, you guess it doesn't have a page labeled, labeled Rhyme Blight? I guess not. Oh, I got an actual vampire? I mean, that's fine. It didn't last very long, but it would have been helpful. What do I need? I mean, spellcasting, maybe? I'm kind of needing some magic points. I get fighting up to 10. Um, I could do a little bit of dodging, but I can't do shields. Because I'm not allowed to use a shield with this character. Also, can I afford that? Ooh, I can afford lots of things. I don't really need the willpower anymore. Uh, poison resist on my arm, but I could swap armor. I kind of don't need that stuff now that I've got the poison resist, though. That's going to be hard to get to it. There's some nice looking boots, but it's going to be one of, yeah, one of these. One of these little uh, swamp modes. There's no way I can make it through there. There's net traps in the center? Yeah, there's no way. Uh, heal the hound. Alright. I don't know how things are going. Oh, this is not good. I'm getting surrounded here. What can I do? Doubt I can just charm one of these guys, can I? Oh, I might be able to. And, of course, it dies. Um, I 
I'm not feeling great at all about my health. What do I have on me? I do poison. The guy's still gonna step into it, isn't it? I've got to heal wounds. I might do a poison to heal wounds, I think. Um. Yeah, I think so. Ooh, didn't step into it. Nice. That dude did, though. So I could probably hit these guys with a bit of whopping. There we go. That did the trick. Uh, bring in another K. Oh, a little Howard. Why did it stand the poison? Come on, Howard. You, you should know it better than just go stand straight in the poison. But oh, well, I guess it didn't. Good. Well, that poison scroll was a big help because I could just get uh, move everything through the poison. Um, and the zombies should be immune to poison, I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh, do you have your metal armor? I do have my metal armor. I've got my ring mail. I made sure I got my ring mail. Yeah, so I'm only allowed to swap onto metal armor now. Um, things like ring mails. I think I had some chain mail or scale mail, whatever it is. Um. And that sounds fine. I mean, I could probably do ring mail for the rest of the game, I guess. Our Hydra's looking tough, but maybe fine. Oh, I even got a zombie. Nice. Oh, dog died. Yeah, well, let's take a Hydra zombie, so I'm doing alright. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it says your familiar recovers from its injuries. So it's actually the same dog I bring it each time, every time it dies. It just has to go into an extra dimensional space or something to recover from its injuries. I didn't realize that. I thought it was like a new one you summoned each time. I could probably drop some of this armor and carry around like the basic ring mail is not that useful. At what point do I put on the, like the uh, scarf of resistance? Probably not yet. There's occasionally fire damaging guys in here. But I got a cold resist, so it's like not that important to put it on in a hurry or anything. Oh, wouldn't it be a bad conduct except for reading needing to use sums too? Oh, wouldn't be a bad conduct except yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, it does stop you using gold dragon armor or crystal plate armor, but uh with heavy armor characters, it's not a hugely terrible conduct. Because you're only really gonna get those things late on anyway. Alright, let's go down. Um Oh, wow, I got the Marukuda guys out. Right, because I'm on three party, but I've got to gotta find uniques. The problem with the uniques is there's not like an endless source of uniques. There's only like a finite number of them. So soul binding the uniques could definitely be a problem. So that's a lot of Marukudas. <laughs> they will go away presumably soon, but it's just kind of funny having such a big army of them out at once. Uh, also, it's one of these tough balls. These often have hydrants and stuff in them. Ah, the hound. So the hound decided to try and face tank a Komodo dragon, and of course that did not go massively well. Um, When do I get my hound back? There we go. I thought I'd get it back, like, reasonably soon. Oh, I should probably buff it up. No, it's probably fine about a combat now. So I want to get... I want to try for, like, a little bit of dodging, see if that makes any difference. Because this arm is, like, light enough that I can do some dodging, I think. I mean, it's just ring mail, right? And I got 18 strands, so... Presumably, I can dodge in that. Oh, whoops. Ah, I got my hound killed, of course. Oh, the small guys. Um, oh, this dude. Oh, come on, give the hound... Healthy, I think that's all I'm doing with my turns now is keep the hound healthy because it's definitely taking the brunt of the attacks. Oh, wait, you can always get the unique hell pad lords. Oh, that's true. There's quite a few of those. If you have to, you can go through hell and soul bind things. Um, yeah, because there actually are a lot of uniques in hell. True. Are they soul bindable though? What's the, what's the limits on the soul bind, which I can actually do now? It has to be living, holy, or demonic. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's actually fine, because those are all demonic. Well, apart from uh, the Seraph, which I guess is holy, which you could also do. Um... Ah, 
Ugh, lost my hound. Of course I did. Um, I lost everything. It's got to retreat back somewhere, but I could uh, hold some torchlight at these guys, I think. That didn't quite work. Ow. Um, that's all right. And now I could get a warping in here, I think. It's got to get my own held, but oh well, I think it's worth it. I like a soulbind something at some stage, but I'm not sure I could quite get a soulbound hydra to stop conjuration. I don't use conjuration, so I don't think I need that one, unfortunately. Yeah, because of the lords and the snake. Oh, that's true. That's even, that would actually come to nine, wouldn't it? Wait, hold on. There's, uh... Do the, the random pandemonium lords don't count as a unique, right? But you still get, uh, four pandemonium lords. Plus four hell lords. Plus a servant of hell, I guess. So I guess that comes to enough. Alright, let's light the torch. It's vampires again. Alright. How do I even get out of here? I go down this way, I think. At least my creatures can get out of there a bit better than I can. Oh, that's not quite where I want to go. Um, uh, I'm going to get, like, turned to stone, aren't I? Everyone's going to get turned to stone here. I have an escape hatch, but I'm not sure I want to take it. Um, but I still got some creatures. Can I buff up my creatures somehow? That's not one of mine. Can I make that one into one of mine with a bit of charming? Okay. Uh... Hold up, I've got, I uh, got a whole torch light. I might be able to do it on some of these guys. Oh, didn't work as well as I'd like. It's kind of wearing them down slowly. Can I do another one? I've got one more, right? Got a, um, got a, like, a little curari as well to go on that guy. Oh, there's also Gurion? Oh, yeah, that's right. Gurion is someone I can soulbind. Uh-oh. There's still a ton of guys. Oh, come on. After all that torchlight I held at these guys, I might drink a healing potion, unfortunately. <laughs> Just to uh, try and keep myself on this level, but... um, Oh, my hound died. I could just go up. Oh, wait. I might have to, actually. That Hydra is going to get up to me, otherwise that's a shame. Well, I tried, and I did quite a bit of damage before I had to leave, but it didn't quite do the trick. Oh, more elephants. Okay. Don't get the spells again, but it's the same old spells. I don't know why I keep looking at those, because I haven't changed. Where's my way down? I might be able to go down. I mean, I guess I can go down here again. All right, what do we have? Give me some courageous game. Not too many, though, because I gave me too many before. And that was uh, quite savage. Okay, I see the Hydra. Um... Kinda want to soul bind it. Maybe I should have run directly up to it. That was probably a bad idea. <sighs> Cause it killed my dog. Um I don't even know if I can get a I guess I can get a warping in there. Um hmm. Yeah, maybe we can get a warping in now. Okay. Oh, stupid one, berserk. Man, okay, this is making things a slightly more difficult. So I can throw in some more warping, but like... I want that Hydra to die, come on. 
There we go. Got a little soulbound hydra. That's going to help me out a little bit. So I can also... I can't get my dog back just yet. How much health does it have? It only has 72, but it's still something. It's my first soulbound creature. I don't think I can soulbound anymore, which would be a problem if I run into a unique. But hopefully I can get my uh, party back. Not that I'm getting my party back very easily at all, because... Um, I'm not getting party at the moment because I downed my torch and then I left the level, unfortunately. I've got a dog, but it's about to petrify, huh? I can't even resummon it, unfortunately. Alright, well, the Hydra's been pretty helpful because that's a tough creature. Oh, hey, Roger. Uh. Oh, you posted a week one write up? Alright, I might check that one out after stream. Let me just uh, open that link in one of my tabs. Um. Why is there so much cold here? That looks kind of suspicious. Can I recall my undead? It looks like there's a statue of something in all those guys. So I don't want to get too close. Um... That's not a summoned one at least. So I can deal with that ice beast. Uh huh. That's a statue, so I gotta tell my guys just to run up and kill that one, I think. And then I can stay back and just kill whatever I can actually get to, because once the Hydra gets there, it should be able to do a lot of damage. There we go. That's about how I thought that would go, once my Hydra got up, of course. Yeah, because at least the Hydra can swim, even if no one else on my team can. How do I even get onto that island? Oh, I have to fly? I should look, actually look at my gizmo, shouldn't I? So I've got a Fire Resist Cold Resist Gadgeteer one. A resist electric three slag rev parry one, or poison resist, resist corrosion, wizardry clarity repel missiles four magic points. Oh, the like random four to twelve magic points is the thing that the uh, gizmos get as well. Hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Anyway, that uh, I don't need the fire core resist too much because I got a uh, scarf of resistance. Oh, I got resist electric on my sphere. I don't really need the rev parry. I think the Poison Resist, resist Corrosion, 4 Magic Points, Wizardry, Clarity, Repel Missile sounds excellent. But I do need the Repel Missiles. I do, Clarity is always good, I guess. I definitely need the Wizardry because I'm a my medium armor summoner. Magic Points is always good. Resist Corrosion, Resist Poison, sure. Uh, it means I can also swap my armor at some stage. Um, Alright, well these spells are, like, well, truly castable. Um... I still don't know. I could get, try and get something from here, but I don't want something that hurts my own creatures, right? That's a... Uh, I mean, I guess I got the blinking, but... Alright. Scarf of Repulsion Resist Negative. I got, like, the permanently slotted in Repulsion anyway. I can't fly. There's, like, nothing for it. Um... Yeah, well... I could just randomly try and blink till I land up on the island. It's mildly painful, but like, sure. I'll do it. <laughs> it's my only choice. Like, uh, is there somewhere I can get less spaces in view? I'm not sure there really is. There we go. Okay, there's a plus one hat. Got a helmet, I think. Plus two helmet. There's a robe of magic points. Rampage resist negative. Seven magic points. Um... <laughs> I'm not allowed to wear that, so I'm going to drop it on the ground. But I can wear the scale mail I've got here. The scale mail of Happy Babbling. Is that any good? If I put it on, I lose the armor class, I lose an evasion. But I get a cold resist, two strength, and two inch. It's not even that good. I might put on my scarf resistance, so I get a little bit of fire resist. There we go. I got basically everything. I think I'm missing a resist negative, but that's probably fine. Oh, I've still got my hound, technically. No point in trying to resummon it if it still exists. I'll just heal it up and won't move it towards me. Be kind of nice if there was like some sort of way of recalling it, but I see why there isn't, because they would just kind of complicate matters, um, trying to add some sort of way of recalling your hound or something, because stuff and death. Um, I'm technically allowed to use that on my non spear hand, I guess, so I guess I'll pick it up. Uh,. My mace doesn't exactly do anything for me for the majority of the time. Yeah, I mean... 
I mean, I'll use it, right? I'm going to use two weapons. Do stars? Stars count as weapons, right? I mean, they they use a weapon skill. Um, you can hit people with them. I mean, it says no unarmed, so I wonder whether there's an update to that one or not. I might have to check whether I'm allowed to use stars or not. I don't even want to get. Does the dodging help? It did help. I might get some more then. Not a huge amount more. Just get some fighting as well. All right, well, this is my little landing in here. There's probably going to be some death yanks, I'd imagine. Oh, I don't have my torch. That's right. Oh, well. Hmm. I'm going to petrify. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> My Hydra seems to be immune to, like, the Petrify, which is kind of handy, I guess. Um, I don't know dial would be Hydra. I think it's alright, but it's very badly wounded at the moment. So it'd be nice if I could kind of pull it back, give it a bit of health, so it doesn't die on me, because it seems to be a really good ally to have. Uh, yeah, it's getting kind of quite challenged with its health. It's probably going to be at least one more kind of believers in here. Ooh. Okay, it's still alive. Um, even if it's in the middle of those guys, I've got probably a lot of death yank zombies around me at the moment, which is also handy. Hmm. I gotta walk back, otherwise I will personally get petrified. All right. I guess it makes sense that, like, a ghostly little spectral dude can't be petrified. What's a magic regen outlet? I mean, I wouldn't mind one of those. But I've got my, uh, gizmo. And it seems like a pretty good gizmo. Um, anyway, let's go to layer one. There were a few dudes left to finish off on layer one. That's not layer one. Huh? Go to layer one. Oh, whoops. Hmm. It's probably fine. All right, well, definitely getting, um, and my ends are a bit low, but I think with my wizardry and stuff, it's probably fine. All right, well, I could probably, actually, I should just fully explore this level. There's no reason not to. Excellent, well, I'm done with that, so I'm gonna go to dungeon level 12, I think. Oh, where's my undead dude? Oh, raise the torch, of course. That's something I've got to do. Now I've got to, um, what am I trying to do? i got an identify. I'm trying to read that on one of my scrolls here. So I've got a good old blinking. Nice. Oh, that's a lowercase k, isn't it? Revelations and vulnerability. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to recall my own day, get them a little bit closer. Looks like they've pretty much got that situation under control because they still had like all the temporary undead that I got from the raising the torchlight, so it wasn't too bad. Oh, not the inventory. <laughs> Screen by accident. All right. Hopefully, I'm just hoping the orcs have some spells for me because uh, my spellbook pickings are not huge. I mean, they're, they're a lot of the ice ones there. I'm not sure if I got the... Oh, what's it called? The, what's the one that chews down ice on top of someone? The, like the new one? I... Permafrost eruption or something? I don't, think, I don't know if I've got that one yet. All right, let's go to the lair. Not lair, orc. Raise a torch. All right. Uh, I might recall my guys. They're not properly surrounding those guys. They were kind of getting a little bit trapped behind me. Oh, okay. It feels weird being a summoner where most of my creatures aren't even summons. Um... <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, like most of them are just my undead army, and uh, then I've got occasional summons in there. All right, well, let's go down to the second level. Did I get... Oh, I don't know if I got many staircases, which means I'm going to have to do a few pieces of the orcish mines without my torch, but oh well. Um... Guy has paralysis, but it's on zero percent. Okay, that's good. He's got a bolt of draining. Um, I gotta check to see if there's been any update on like the wording for the like the with your weapons. I gotta presume that the staff is a weapon, right? Because it's just saying um no shields, two-handed weapons, and unarmed. Because they do have like a, a weapon skill associated with them. Oh, ow. Hold up. If I go here, I hurl some torchlight. Hold on, let me retarget that. Uh, there we go. Now half my army's mited. They should be able to take care of that problem for me. I'm trying to hide behind my army, but it's not doing so well. <laughs> I'll be perfectly honest. Okay. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Excellent. Oh, there's more guys. It might be an ogre ending. We'll see. I wouldn't mind an ogre ending. They're generally not too bad. Might whether I could have tried, like, binding. Actually, can I even bind it so I can? I wonder whether it would be worth trying to, like, binding one of those, um... Actually, no, I don't think I've seen anything too worth biting just yet. But it's got to be something better than Hydra eventually, although Hydra is still pretty good at this point in the game. Do I just get some more summoning? It seems a little excessive, but I'm going to get more summoning and just hope that I find some actual summoning spells to go with it. Because the only way I can really think of of doing like a bunch of collateral damage is by having the summoning going, and summoning's usually pretty powerful, so... The fact that I'm a bit behind on it probably doesn't matter. Also, I gotta make sure I... I gotta check for two Kievan stars, because if I get that one, I've gotta use a lot of 100 dudes, which uh, the Orcish Mines would be a good place to use that on dudes. Okay, now we go for things... Oh, okay, those are uh, Fathomless and Shackles, but I don't actually have enough invocations to really use that. I might as well get some invocations pretty soon. Probably after I get the summoning skill, I should get some invocations. Alright, well, there's a staircase there, but I'll just finish this level before I go up, of course. Um... Well, I don't want to lose all my undead while I'm exploring this level. I guess I'd lose my torch as well if I went up right now. So, obviously, the silly thing to do. This definitely looks like an ogre ending. Oh, hey, look at these shops. Uh, my hounds are still healthy. I'll heal it up anyway. All right, so we've got a jewelry shop, which is useless. We've got... A weapon shop selling a strength morning star. If I needed strength, I mean, it's expensive, but there's strength there. We've got, oh, bookshop. Come on, have something for me. It's got Rhyme Light, Flame Wave, Vampire Drainy, Kiss of Death. Um, Hellfire Mortar, Animate Armor, Crystal Spear. I mean, Animate Armor is like, okay, I guess. Now it's got Animate Armor. Magnavolt, Lee's Rapid Deconstruct, but it's cheaper. Is this one... What I want a Hellfire Mortar, what's the spell school to that thing? It's Fire Earth, probably not. Um, okay, I might actually put the other book on my shopping list. We've also got uh, Vice Electric Charge, Arc Jaw, Plasma Beam. Volatile Blast Mooks, Vice Electric Charge, and Gels Gravot. Battle Sphere, Bombard, Servitor. Mm, I mean, Servitor is technically something. Got Balsam, Fusilate, Irradiate, Petrify. Got Mercury Vapors Freezing Cloud. Okay, well, I guess I'm probably going to have to go for... all the... The Animate Armor, I think. Let's go do it, because I can't see any other shops here. Fortunately, that bow's not going to work. It's two-handed. 
All right. Well, I can get the anime armor. Where is that? It's castable. I don't even have the earth skill, but that's probably fine. Um, I think now is when I like bind my spells to my normal spell keys. So I'll put the hound on F, I think, and I'll put the anime armor on G. How good is it? I mean, it's just ring mail, right? So it's uh, 48 health and 2 times 70 damage. Um, it's more health than my little hound, so I guess it's uh, not terrible. It's pretty slow at moving, though, which is a bit of a downside. It's the anime armor hype. Yeah, it's another summon. I just thought... Oh, whoops. <laughs> I've got used to my new key bindings. I'm sure I'll get used to them pretty quick there. Uh... Certainly should be good. I could actually try on that slightly healthy Rio Rama now if I wanted to. I could try on the... You know what? I'm going to try on the scale mail. So I lose the armor class right in the evasion, but... Hey, let's give it a try. Um... Animate armor's 4 percent failure. Hopefully it gives me some slightly better animated armor. That's the idea anyway. So we've got a glowing armorless and a glowing trident. I'm not allowed to use the trident because I've already got an excellent spear. Um... Whoops, let's see what I get. So I get some, it's got 50 health and it does 2 times 24 damage. That's a slight improvement. I'm not sure if this armor's that worthwhile, but I guess it's a slight improvement of what I was doing before. Alright. Well, that didn't really need the weapon. I guess it's a little bit of money. There's another staircase here that I can go take. Uh, anyone? Nope, no one. All right, I don't, think, don't think I even had any money. So I'm done with my orchid mines. Let's go to dungeon level 13, right? I mean, stuff with willpower, which I've already got, and poison resist, which I'm pretty sure I've already got. Yeah, poison resist is like a permanent thing on here because I got all my gizmo, so I can go to dungeon 13. I want my branches. I had the spider nest and the shoals. Hmm, not my favorite, but oh well. Shoals might be alright. We'll see what summons I can get before I have to go to the shoals, though. I got boots of three thirds sea invisible. Do I have sea invisible already? One of my. Wait, do I not have boots? I mean, that's definitely better than no boots. <laughs> Alright, let's put them on. So it also gives stealth. I'm pretty sure I have sea invisible somewhere. Actually, why do I have sea invisible is a question. Because I'm pretty sure I was seeing invisible. I am seeing invisible. Why? Is it my spear as well? There's my spear. Okay. Well, I'll probably not lose that, but I'll put on the boots. Ooh, it's a book. Uh, let's get some book hype. Hopefully, it's uh, summoning one. It might not be. Let's see. All for destruction, spell for shoved up Blaze Heart Golem. Oh, the Blaze Heart Golem would blow up so many of my own summons, wouldn't it? Um. Hmm. I mean, I could always try and get a spell for show to, but I'm not sure about that one. It's definitely an option though, but uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. Because you'd have to like spank and do all the conjuration and stuff to get him a spell that it could actually cast. Whoa, that looks tough. So we've got Ganel's ghost. They are a gargoyle earth elementalist of the human. They know stone arrow for up to 60 damage. Uh, I don't know about that. Whoa. Lots of dudes. I forgot to raise my torch. Okay, well, now's a good time to raise, I guess. Um... Ow. No, that's not working. I think I'm going to start a teleport. I've got myself in a little bit of trouble. Whoa. I'm going to teleport soon, but I think I have to go to a healing potion. So this is actually looking kind of bad. Oh, good. I did teleport. Hmm. Yeah, because unfortunately it was me taking the damage there. Like, I think my army was doing okay as it was, but... I wasn't. Wait, this dude can fly? It can fly. Oh, I guess it is like a little spectral dude. It's not like a real Hydra, but still. 
I wasn't quite expecting that dude to fly. Oh, actually, apparently there's a bug with that with, like, Krakens or something. They refuse to leave their water if you bind them or something, even though they can fly around. No, no, that's not it. They flop around on uh, land, even though they can fly when they're bound or something. I remember there being some sort of bug related to that. That makes sense, actually, thinking about it, given they fly. Oh, got a scarf of harm. Don't really need a scarf of harm. I got the scarf of resistance, which is probably my end game. Scarf, to be perfectly honest. Let's go down. All right. I'll start with a Rico. Where's my Hydra? Is it dead? Oh. That's disappointing. Uh... A lot of dudes. A hell of a little bit of torchlight. Oh, not, uh, wait, my. Now, I probably would be fine just to hold the torchlight anyway. I don't know. Um. This might not actually be working. Um. I tried hell of a little bit more torchlight here, but I might have to go off at some stage. Oh, my health is not looking the best. Do I have a fear or something on me? I do not. Oh, I will go up, but I'm going to lose all my dudes. That's a shame. Ow, so much poison. Gonna try and cure some of that poison. All right. Oh, right. Of course, I got the minus hound right now. Um, that's a shame because it means I already raised the torchlight, so once I go back down, I'm not going to be able to get any more piety on this level. Yeah, definitely when I did this, uh, oh, I need to re some of the armor. When I did, like, a Minotaur of your Delve Null, it was way easier to keep my, um, torch going than it is with a Coglin here. Gonna have to bring these back up, I think. Doesn't matter. I've already like lost my torchlight anyway. Um, I have two coal resist, right? Oh, three coal resist. Oh yeah, that should be fine. But I'm taking a bit of coal damage. Where's another way down? Oh, not that one. That's the one I'm after. Ah, of course, this goes and one hits my little um. Hound that I've got going. Where is it now? Oh, there it is. Anyway, I can get a hound back now because it's been so long. Uh, I want to ask my guys to attack the one next to me. I think that, there we go. That's doing the trick. I do have risk of corrosion, which is kind of nice as well. All right. Oh, no, I got out of the little nameless horror. It says it died immediately, so it wasn't too bad, but that tends to, uh, like, dispel your creatures. I guess I can't dispel my Urodel dog guys. Not that I've got any Urodel dog guys right now, because they all seem to have died. Just a little bit tragic. Okay, so we've got a good old enchant weapon. I'm still using that basic mace, which makes literally no sense. I don't know if this would make any more sense. Um, I'm going to put a sword in my primary hand. It doesn't really make any sense. Um, <laughs> I don't actually have poison for this, but I feel like I'm taking a lot of damage from poison sometimes. I don't know, I, I thought for a second I didn't have it, but I guess sometimes it just randomly ignores your poison resist for no particular reason. I thought like one third chance or something, you're just ignoring your poison resist. Anyway, one more level of dodge in here, it looks like. Um, okay, light the torch. Who sold by the new Hydra? Maybe. Or Center, I guess. Hydra's out of my reach. There we go. It does have a bow or does it go up and it does have a short bow and it has a kick. 
I hope that sticks back and choose people because it's probably not going to live long otherwise. Oh, I can probably enchant something. I've got a... Uh, nope. I'm not wearing anything that I can enchant right now. What would I put on that plate armor? Probably not, but it would give me some better... Um, <laughs> better little dude. Uh, sure. Let's give it a try. Let's put it on for a second and see what it's like. So, 30% failure. What's the little dude like anyway? Oh, well, that didn't help. I mean, it's doing 260 damage. Um, hmm. Probably not yet. That's, yeah, I don't think that's uh, something I can do yet, but it's something I could get going eventually, I guess. No, no, that arch is not going to last. It just absolutely died, yeah. Fair enough, I guess. Um... Trying my best to hide behind my guys there. It's uh, somewhat working, but not that well. Okay, we've got a fire giant. How do I even get to that dude? Um, I think I'm better off just excluding it and running around until I find a better way to get to it, because there almost certainly is one. How much damage does my normal guy do? It does 20-something uh, damage, whereas the plate armor does 60 damage. 24 damage to 60 is quite some improvement. Does the Asriel? Ooh. Okay. I gotta go kill these guys first. I do want a Soulbind Asriel. That would be nice. There he is. So let's start with the Soulbind. Fail to use my Soulbind? It's 4% fail. It's not too bad. Um... Hey, there we go. We've got a little Asriel on my side. I hope he's careful with his damnation. Uh, doesn't blow up all my zombies or something, but I'm glad to have him. And that's number one of the Soulbound uniques so far. One out of what? One out of nine, I think. So quite some way to go. Um, oh, I guess I'll drop the ring mail poison resistance. It was nothing too special. I'm just gonna run back with the force as the fire wears off while my actual guys do the job there. Uh, I honestly don't know if Asriel's got much of a chance to do his stuff, given that his stuff's all like AoE, but hey, it's something having him on my side. Uh, how do I even get to this fire giant? And what is in that book? Is it worthwhile to spell some gels from a font, teleport other? Oh, it might be. Or oh, slaving at a fleet and uh, it's going terribly. Uh, Horribly wrong. How very traditional. <laughs> yep. No, that's uh, definitely, I think there's some cautionary tales about doing that. All right, he's, he's got to be able to do his damnation. There we go. Oh, he's actually dying, isn't he? What's my armor doing all the way over there? Let's get the armor in again. Excellent. Um, now I can not exclude this area. Oh, the bot trying to sell viewers? Why are there so many bots all of a sudden? They seem to come in waves. Um, let me go bad that one, because it's definitely not going to be selling the best viewers no matter what it claims. There we go. Bot, get out of there. Nope, I prefer my viewers to actually be real. <laughs> Alright, well, I got the spell book. Where do I have to go? I mean, I can go to the shoals, right? I don't fly. I think I'd run through the shoals and the spider's nest. I mean, maybe there's a few characters that run through the spider's nest. Uh... Oh, there's Kirk here. I gotta just swap my uh, thing out to Kirk, I think. Alright, but that's fine. Uh, I can still soulbind, right? Good, I can. Excellent. Just checking, because it does cost piety every time you soulbind. Um, oh no. I don't want to be out of view. I want to soulbind to her. Yeah, that looks good. All right, there we go. We swapped out the soulbound Kirk, the bound human. Oh, he's a, I guess he was technically a human. So he's got a percolator, monstrous menagerie. I wish I had monstrous menagerie. 
And I don't think I can get her to teach it to me, can I? Oh, she's dying. What? That wasn't very long-lived, Kirk. You literally died to, like, the first creatures I met afterwards. Oh, well. I remember the funny thing about the Soulbound Kirk is that, um... That's not working very well. Uh... Is that, like, half the creatures you end up with zombies are, like, pigs then, instead of, like, actual proper creatures? Oh, there's gold dragon scales. Fancy that, I'm not allowed to wear those. I'm not allowed to wear any of these things, right? There's, like, an iron dragon scales or something. I think I'm technically not allowed to wear iron dragon scales either. Do iron dragons even have armor? I don't know if they do. Probably not. But I'm sure an iron dragon scales would be metal, right? Uh, I need someone else to soulbind because there's no one here. Oh, clearly that dragon turtle was the real boss of the level. It certainly was. No. If I can find another one of those, I might be able to go soulbind. Oh, ow. That's fine, though. I've killed all the enemies. And then I can maybe have something. Okay. I feel like my something spells are keeping up very well here, but oh uh, well, I guess uh, that's what I've got. Um. I might go with Identify. I've got two Identify setting here. I actually don't have a lot of stuff identified. So I've got some mutation potions and we've got... Uh, degeneration. All right. I think I could go buy some more mutation potions as well if I wanted to identify them that way or something. It's just a regular turtle. All right. That's a shame. Doesn't get me one to soul bind. I guess these guys want blood. The thing that doesn't have blood here is my armor, but it's a bit late now. Um, oh. Can I just get this guy away with a little bit of whopping? Nope. Oh, it killed my guy again? Ow. Usually sharks are not too bad by this point in the game. Wait, what else is that? There's a special shark zombie? Okay. Uh, I'm the only one here with blood, which is a bit of a problem. That's probably why it's after me. It's like, I want that blood. I got two enchant on my I still don't have nothing to enchant, but maybe I can put that plate on. Let me try it on. 24% failure, too bad. Um, get, like, armor skill. Maybe that will make it a little bit better. <laughs> I don't know. I get better bound armor when I'm wearing plain armor. In fact, I think it's the heaviest armor I'm allowed to wear. If I get any actual proper summoning spells, though, I'll um, <laughs> swap it out. With the light armor again. Alright, light the torch. Wait, if these things are summoned, does that mean they can technically be dispelled by, like, uh, um, I'll soul dragon, like, a summoning attempt gone wrong? No, not marked. I gotta head back to the staircase, that's terrible. There's no way I can make this work, I'm just gonna have to go up and lose my torch. I hate it when I get marked as you're a Del Nile, it just doesn't feel right at all. Especially once I've just lit the torch, too. I haven't really even had a chance to um, get any of my party back or anything. All right. All right. Can't even get the dog. Um, I mean, there's nothing stopping me going up now, I guess. Uh, Uh, oh, I'm all over the place, because this, uh, wind drake is still definitely all over the place. Alright, javelin, dear. I don't know if they have that much health, um... Where did it go? Back there, I'm gonna try and bring it a bit closer to me and then summon some things. My armor's kind of far away. There we go. That's better. My armor's actually flanking it. There we go. Because that's my one of my main damage dealing things. I think is my suit of armor. Unfortunately, it's really slow. So 
can sometimes struggle to get into combat. Okay, well, so this is just a jewelry shop, unfortunately. Yeah, in fact, this one I've already checked anyway, so it's not going to have anything useful, unfortunately. As a base of two strands. Um, sure. S that's fine. I'll put it on. It's two strands. I'll put it on instead of my flaming uh, scimitar. There we go. So it probably helps a tiny bit. 60% fairly with the summon armor now. I mean, that's mainly because I'm trading armor, I think. Um, these are plus four boots of intelligence. I mean, that's one of my one. I, I know they did something, but I don't think they were that good. They were at Seamers, which I didn't need. They were stealth and three strength. I think I'd rather have the edge. Um, yeah, I mean, the anime numbers on 70% failure now, but... I mean, it's more armor class as well. So, I'll definitely take them. Uh, that's a lot of cold resist on this rape here. So three cold resist. There's minus two strands. It's got willpower as well. What's my offhand uh, spear do? Resist electric willpower. Three decks. See invisible. Right. Hmm. No, it's probably not worth swapping. But if I need a oh, actually, is my cold resist like pretty good? It's like two right now. So yeah, not really worth swapping. But if I need a whole bunch of cold resist in a hurry, I guess I got that spear just in case or something. Oh, come on. It's a general sword. Might have a spell book. Yeah, no, no. 12 gold potion brilliance. So, I mean, I can't complain about one of those. It's a Clarence sale. Oh, no, I'm marked. I'm always double this level. I might be fine. Yeah, nothing came along. I probably double the level. All right. Let's do this level. So, bring in my dudes. Oh, where am I? I'm a long way from where I'm supposed to be. Let me just recall my guys around me, but I don't have a lot of guys. Uh, can I bind soul on um, Polyphemus over here? Ow. Binding that soul did a lot of damage to me. That was really bad. Gonna have to drink a healing potion. This is um made things a little bit more dire just by binding a soul. Okay. Uh I can't really hold that torchlight properly. Oh no. Ow. I'm in dire problems if I stay here. I'm gonna have to do a teleport, I think. And I'm gonna have to drink my last healing potion. Oh no, 20 health. I don't even know any more healing potions. I don't have any fear. Do I? I do have a blinking, but that's not necessarily going to save me. This could be the end of this character. Uh, a blink to... I guess up here. But this guy, if it gets me in wood, it can kill me. Um, I'm going to drink a little bit of curing. Alright, do I have an ambrosia or something? I don't think so. Something throws a death yak. Polyphemus is still around, so that's a shame. Oh, please teleport for me somewhere. I mean, I guess there's not much choices because I haven't really explored the map. I'm slowed by this water. And there's not much I can do about that. Um... I think a poison might help a little bit, but it'll stop me getting petrified at least. I gotta lose my torch, but I think I gotta go upstairs. I'm also not gonna manage to bind Polyphemus because I lost my chance, unfortunately. <laughs> Which was a bit of a shame, but uh, I tried my best, I think. I don't know, maybe I could have tried a bit better. <sighs> Unfortunately, now we're out of healing supplies, so that's a bit of a worry. Okay, bring these upstairs. That's fine. Oh, man. Uh... Huh. 
I'm not getting pie to either of this level, am I? Because I've got the... I did my Thorbide thing, um, and it didn't work out. Mm, Familiar still exists. Whoops. All right. Come on. Please give me a summoning spell. What have we got? Have we got uh, either two keepers dance or a summoning spell in here? Let's see. Got the Blazar Golem, which I can't quite do. Got the Salvation of Blood. Okay. Teleport other. Dimensional Bullseye. Spousal, Rhyme Blade, Servitor. I mean, Servitor's the only actual summoning spell in there. It's not quite what I'm after. Hmm. It's definitely giving me Sif Mata reasons with all this lack of summoning spells. Uh, okay. Uh, the good old shark. I'm bringing the animate armor. That should help out quite a bit. There we go. Yeah, definitely blocked it from getting to me. I don't think any of my zombies have blood, although it looks like the shark might be be lighting straight towards me right there. All right. Well, I could go down to the fourth level, I guess. I'll raise a torch. Hopefully, that's not too early to be raising a torch. Uh. Ooh. Uh, still got all the little summons in here. Oh, yeah. Throwing nets at my guys, at least not at me. Let's go over there. I think my guys are attacking plants or something. Something was definitely getting attacked, and it wasn't me. All right, well, I want to heal up and then go into this little side here, I think. Oh, whoops, my arm was almost actually in the fight. So we've got a uh, Sticky Flame, Flame Wave, Inner Flame. I mean, it's the right idea, give me a spell book. Um, it's not quite the spell book I'm after. Come on, there's got to be something in here. There's plus two chainmail of cold resist. Uh, I'm allowed to wear chainmail, so maybe. Let's go take a look at it. So if I put it on, I gain... Three evasions, I lose like half a uh, AC. Sure. It makes my spells more reliable, right? Like I'm down to 4% failure on the animate armor. It does make the animate armor a little bit weaker, so it's doing 40 damage instead of 60 damage, but I think it's probably a good idea. Uh, not just me getting blown back. I think like a whole bunch of my creatures get blown back as well. All right. Oh, I can't summon anything. What can I do here? I could try and paralyze one of these guys. That's a little bit better. I should make this uh, do a boy thing. Identify. I can. I did this tells itself to identify. So there's two scrolls of noise. I can probably drop. What is hidden here? There's a elemental stuff. All right, I can use that as one of my weapons. Right, so I got a spear in one hand. I can have an elemental stuff in the other hand. I what was my resist electric even on? Because <laughs> apparently I'm not gonna need that anymore. It's on my oh, it's on my spear. Interesting. Right. Oh yeah, I can totally have an elemental stuff in one hand. Um, and that's definitely a weapon. Like, you see it even puts it in with the uh, non-stuff things, because it's technically not a magical stuff, it's just a magical weapon. Which is also why it's a plus three bonus, because the stuffs don't have bonuses on them. Alright, well I can put that in my primary hand. Um, so I have a stuff in one hand, a spear in the other hand, which works out. Resists are looking, well, I guess better. Um... <laughs> And it helps with my elemental spell schools, but I don't exactly have those, do I? That means I can take a lot of look at my spells, but I 
Really don't know about that. Oh, where's my armor? There we go. I'm losing out of my zombies to the show point, which is a bit of a shame. I'm not sure there's much I can do with that. I don't really want to go in there like personally or unless I can try and deal with them. Also, we're at some stage, I guess I'm getting the summoning just in case I get the summoning uh, spells, but there's some other skills I could get. I could probably get my invocation slate 10. Invocation slate 10 as well, I think. I mean, the invocation is a minus 2 aptitude, but it's still fine to get it to 10. That's not that high at this point in the game. I wonder what my dream team zombies, they probably can't put things to sleep as zombies, right? Probably not. Uh... Alright, what have we got? We got Freezing Cloud, Mephitic Cloud, Dreadful Rot. Oh, come on, those aren't even summoning spells. Oh, well, it's fine. What have we got in here? We've got a uh, Warping, a Polymorph, a Digging. Do I even have a Digging? Apparently I do have a Digging. I mean, there's more charges of Digging here if I need them, but I'm probably fine with just the one thing of Digging. I think I had quite a lot of charges of my current Digging. I can tell this character doesn't have any BJ because when I try and like rest up, it takes a little bit of time to like process all the resting. I was no, I was sort of a chaos great sword with uh, Dandu's ghost. They're a great draconian shapeshifter of Wujian. Thirty-five damage, one hundred fifty health. Um, if I fight them, it would definitely be after I clear the rest of this level. Oh, good immolation. Um, sometimes they can be useful as a summoner, just setting a whole army on fire. And it's watching everything burn, but it's uh, less useful than with some other characters, I think. That's the rune vault. Um, I can tell because of the undead kraken. Uh... So it's resent relentlessly pursuing me, but I think I've got it under control. Oops, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get in my creatures again. There's a demon trident here, but I don't think I need a demon trident. Hey, there we go. There's my runes. That's something. Um... Let's step back a little. Uh, if I buff up my health, it will get it a few bonus attacks. It will keep it alive, I suppose. Just trying to have something tanking for me because I wasn't that good at tanking myself. All right. Um. Nah, I don't think I fight that guy. I've lost most of my army of zombies and stuff, so I don't think it's worthwhile. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Oh, there's a dude waiting for me to come up that staircase. Anyway, let's get... To... Where do I have to go? I mean, spider nest? Sure, I guess I could go animate some spiders or whatever. Whoops. Ah. I'm not doing so well fighting those guys. I accidentally animated my armor. Oh, hey. Hey, look at this. Polyphemus. Oh, I hate how much that drained me. Do I have a magic potion or something? I've got a brilliance. I don't have a magic. Might just drink a brilliance. Um, although I might not actually need it. Maybe I will. There we go. It's three soul binds so far, I think, because I got Polyphemus. It's really nice having Polyphemus on my side because he can throw large rocks at people. Large ghostly rocks or something. That was uh, really nice fighting him on the way back up. No, because I could have saw by him when I initially saw him, so that's really great. Alright, well, it's time for the um, spiders now, I guess. That's a melee. Uh, I think this is an okay spot to fight from because I can't see the melee anymore. 
And my armor doesn't seem to care too much about the fact I'm taking a bunch of poison damage either. Oh, there's uh, so many of these dudes. Um, I'm just trying to throw some Trevor Stones at them. I might hit my own guys, but that did the trick. And I guess I'm at Barosia for those sort of situations where I need to try and get a little bit of health while hiding around the corner or something. Alright, oh, there's uh, another Malier in here. Wait, what did that guy say to me? It said something. Wizard Ike, you are my only friend? Well, Polyphemus used to have a bunch of friends. He used to have a whole flock of uh, death yaks. I feel like I'm kind of to blame for that. <laughs> uh, I can drop this old trident, this old scimitar. Those aren't very useful. They don't do any sort of buffs for a, uh, a summer sort of character. Oh, I forgot to raise my torch. What am I doing? No, I, uh, I wasn't getting piety. Uh, that's fine. I've still got some piety. But I definitely should have been raising my torch just in case I got some more uniques or something. Um... Oh, it's tragic. It certainly is, Sally Roses. Yup. Poor Polyphemus, but oh well. Ow, that kind of hurt. Oh. At least it doesn't drain my head or something. Okay. That might not be a good idea. I might just get back. Yeah, I'd rather get up to that one. I think it was doing a bit of damage to me. All right, well, I'm done with level one of the spider nest. So I'll take these guys down, although most of them are going to follow. The problem with the spider nest is it loves to ambush you in staircases. Oh, that's a ton of poison for someone that's already resistant. I get a kind of shot at curing. Um... Oh, poor Folly Phoebus is looking a little beaten up there. Um... Oh no, I lost Polyphemus. That's a shame. Did I? I did light my torch though, but I didn't manage to get an army in, unfortunately. Ah, oh, well, uh, Polyphemus did not last long. That's what's happening to a lot of my bound souls. They just kind of die in one of the first fights. Hey, Oswald, how's it going? We kicking some ass? We sure are here. Um, yeah, sort of mixture of that and getting our own one kicked. But no, we're still alive, so that's always a good sign. And we're managing the spider's nest, which is uh, usually one of the harder early branches. Okay, that's a lot of orb spiders. It really is a lot of orb spiders. Oh, no, the orb hit me. Um, I gotta try to hide behind my guys. Oh, it's not real working. Can I... Can I charm this dude? No. Uh... Oh, no. That orb is... Oh, no. I had to drink my healing potion. Ow. I'm absolutely failing to keep these guys at bay. Um. Oh, he's separated from his only friend. Poor Polyphemus. Yeah, well, now we can join them in death, I think. Are oh, you watching Tannis? You think, uh... They were gonna kick some ass? I hope so. I really hope so. Okay, okay. I got my guy charmed. Um, but now what? Now I think I try some of those Ambrosia, so I might just go back a step and just try an Ambrosia. That's not too bad. I think I might try one more of these, because I got a decent chunk of them. There we go. Now when this guy turns hostile, at least it's surrounded by my dudes. Alright, that's back under control. Not gonna die there, at least. Oh, there's nothing scarier than a rogue orb that goes in two circles? Yeah. Man, those orbs can be terrifying because they can do, what, like 99 damage or something? It's uh, not small, that's for sure. And even after that healing potion, I don't think I had 99 health, so that could have one-shot me if I got unlucky. And I don't have, like, a shield to help reflect to me either because I'm not allowed to use a shield on this challenge.
I feel like for all the oh, what's I actually sort of web? I feel like for all the spider's nest challenge, there's a slightly tougher spot in the snake, but it's like not snake, but so spider's nest it always seems to be. Oh, hey, thanks for following Oswald the third. I appreciate that one. Are you trying to challenge yourself? Um, because I know a number of people tried like the initial week of this challenge because it's always really fun doing some sort of run that's a bit of more of a challenge than a normal run. Oh, and a tier one sub as well. I really appreciate that one, Oswald. No, oh, thank you so much for the tier one sub there. Um, I guess that means you'll get no ads. Not that I play a huge amount of ads, but it will at least get rid of the pre-roll ads. I watch you guys play the cosplay thing. You're more of a high score kind of guy. Ah, oh, yeah. I've never been good at high scores, so it's a... Uh... Good that someone enjoys it. No, I know that uh, I know that some, there's some really ridiculous high scores out there that people have managed to get. I also don't like to look at this. Um, can I just get this dude out of sight? No. Oh. Why do you have to immediately berserk this guy up? Fine, I'll do a whole touch light. Actually, I can just go kill this guy. It's not too much of a worry. I've got, like, tons of resist electric sources. So I'm definitely going to be a resist electric. In fact, the staff, well, elemental staff is really nice for the resist. Because usually Cognitive struggle with the resist, but not today. Oh, you're not even top 10 yet? I definitely haven't managed to break top 10. It's, uh, not, it sounds like it's quite a lot of work. I mean, Saf absolutely is dominating. Also, his Russian guys are crazy. Yup. <laughs> no, Saf is absolutely dominating on that, uh... Turn count. Let's do the light, the torch. I think I'm fine here. Ow. <sighs> Tried to heal my how to... Oh, it did die. I thought it did die. Okay, that's not too bad then. Um, At least I had the coal resist with all these simulacrums around. Is there anything else I could do here? I can... Just hold some torch light at that dude. I'm not sure that's the most helpful thing. Oh no, there's a ghost moth. Hmm. That's this question, but I might just teleport. Um. Yeah, especially with the top of the nail around. Is there something I can do to? I gotta go invisible, but I'm worried about my health right now. Oh no, more dudes. Um. I just want to chill somewhere and get some health back. I gotta try and chill here and get some health back. No, that's absolutely not working. Um, I'll teleport again, but this is not good because that dude's berserked. This dude's berserked. That dude's berserked. There's a lot of berserked dudes, and this dude can hit me with Bolt of Draining, which I'm not resistant to. It's the only resist I have got. I've been really good by resist, but not that one. Um, I think I dig this way. All right. Oh, I don't have a hound right now. Kind of surviving this, I think, now. Oh, there's no, there's another Berserk goon. I know I can't that dude down. <laughs> I don't think I can. Oh, what country are you from? I'm from New Zealand. Um, so... <laughs> yeah, the challenge is actually at a good time of day for me. It's like, uh, midday, 12 o'clock. Okay. Oh, Ob Spider's charged up. Um, I hate that. Can I just charm it? Hey, I think I hit that guy. It finally slowed down. Okay, that's a good sign. Do I have a fear? Please tell me I've got a fear here. I don't know if I have a fear. Oh, come on. Fear would be really nice, because most of these guys can't be affected by it. Um, can I just just shackles? I can just do a shackles. It's got 40% failure on it, though, so I think I failed to do my shackles. I'm going to try again. This will hopefully turn the tide of the battle. Oh, barbed. I think it still makes sense to move down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That seems to have turned the tide of the battle. Um, oh, don't net me up. S 
slowed? Okay. Am I still invisible? I don't think I am. I'm gonna do another invisibility. Um, but I'm still gonna be slow, which is a bit of a problem. Can I either get rid of that top snail or that ghost guy? I don't know if I can. Fifty percent chance of whopping it away. Let's give that another try. Um, my little shackles is reducing in size, though, which is a bit of a problem, and I am still slow. I'm gonna keep whopping the guy. Okay, that's probably better. Now I can resummon in the armor. Trying to hide behind my guys. There we go. Hopefully, I get a little bit of a chance to heal up here. Wait, a bear? An actual bear, or like a? I guess it's an actual bear. No, it's shapeshift. Okay, that makes more sense. I was uh, thinking it seemed a little bit strange to have a bear in here. They're back. Not the Book of After, unfortunately. Oh, it's an unholy dagger. Wait, there was a holy dagger. I'm not allowed to use it because I'm with your Del Nod. Your Del Nod doesn't approve holy weapons. Makes sense. I got four of whatever these are. Four potions of enlightenment. Okay. I think my willpower is actually, like, really good right now. It's sitting on four pips of willpower, so that's unlikely to be super useful. Um, I'll check out the amulet. It's just an amulet of faith, resist electric. And it doesn't matter for this character anyway, it's not like you can wear one. Uh, can I pull these guys around this corner? Free some of my dudes. Well, one of my dudes. Hmm. Oh, I'm just the armor. I thought I resummoned it. I just failed to summon it. I might have failed to summon it. I also torchlight at all these guys. I think I might hold a little bit more torchlight as well. And I might try an Ambrosia just in case something comes along. Oh, uh, yep. There's definitely still things coming along. Is there anything I want to swap around my gear? I mean, that's just more willpower core resist. I might get rid of it because my core resist is, like, really good. I think it's sitting on three. All right. What have we got in here? We've got... Wait, what's under here? Is that a spider's web? The square is... Read. Oh, there's a web. Yeah, that makes sense. This looks kind of funny with the armor on top of the web. I'm down with level three. So one more level to go here. I don't like the look of that. I might just bring one of these dudes upstairs. I won't light my torch just yet, though. Alright, where's another staircase? Hopefully a slightly tamer one this time round would be nice. Uh, not quite. How many guys were left? It might be... Is that tame? That might be tame. Well, I've lit my torch now, so I really hope this is tame enough. No, it seems to be mildly out of the way. There's, like, enough walls around and stuff to make it doable, I believe. I'm hoping to find the, uh, what's their name? Like, Zach Caraxus or whatever they are, the forms that unique. Because I haven't seen them before, so it would be really nice to find them. Or having to fight Crimson Imps because of the Zod Vault? You do not miss these enemies. Yeah, I remember there were like an early game enemy that was like so annoying and they just blink around. In fact, I actually played an old version of Cruel recently and I met some Crimson Imps. Yeah, I, I don't miss them either. Definitely not. I mean, they still technically exist, but they tend to be like later game and not as common now, so they're actually more reasonable. There's some fear. All right. Hey, that fear is what I was looking for. Yeah, that's really good, because um, there's been a number of situations here where it's like, oh, a bit of fear would have been nice, but I didn't have it, so at least I do now. I can't go invisible anymore, um, because I used some of my invisibility potions trying to survive earlier on. What do I add that can affect this guy? I mean, I guess the acid one can, right? Yeah, okay. I might just get it with acid. Oh, I lost my hound. That's a shame. Because my hound was one of the few things you could actually see it as well. I 
Hey, these guys are trying to corrode me up. I got resistance to that, though, from my, um... What's it called? My gizmo, I think, is giving it to me, which is kind of nice. Trying to keep out of the uh, radiate range, and I'm doing a decent job at it, I think. Uh, it's pretty top snail down. I was basically with well, that top snail just trying to stop it setting off the alarm trap because I am on the last level of the That was brand weapon, I don't care about that. Last level of the spider nest here. So if that alarm trap gets set off, I'm kind of in a lot of trouble, especially since I'm a Girardel non worshipper. So I can't exactly just go upstairs or anything, otherwise I lose my torch. Whoa. I'm uh, missing my armor. I don't know. Um. What's the plan here? Most of these guys are like undead as well, which doesn't help. Um, I might try fathomless shackles. Because if I'm going to be held in place, these guys might as well be held in place as well. So they don't absolutely murder me while I'm stuck in place. Um, it does cost a lot of piety, which is the unfortunate thing with the shackles, but it's a very powerful ability, so... Yeah, it was enough to get me out of that situation. Ooh, a spark wasp? Alright. I do have the resist electric, which definitely helps, but I know the spike walls can still be tough at this point in the game. Is this going to be the one with the scarab beetles, or is this a different ending? It looks roughly like one that could have scarab beetles. Uh, the walls aren't quite the right color, but sometimes the inner walls, I think, are a different color than the outer walls here. Alright, I'm just going to quickly check for, like, summoning spells, but I don't think I've seen anything for a long time. There's still just the servitor, the blaze out golem, and the small mammals. Oh, I don't remember having small mammals, but that's unfortunately not a massively great spell. It's a first level spell. Okay, invocation's where I need it. Um, I think fighting up to like 15. I bring spell casting up to like 15 as well. Did get the armor skill up decent way. Yeah, armor skill sitting on 10. That's probably fine. Because I never plan on, like, massively heavy armor. I was playing on, like, ring mail, scale mail, or something. Oh, that's a lot of Moss of Wrath. Um, hmm. I might teleport out of here, I think. I'm going to actually get reasonably low on those. Oh, net. I think I'm going to get it out of here anyway. <laughs> Just, uh, the Moss of Wrath was kind of nasty with all those other guys. I don't have any undead to recall. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised they all died in that ambush. This look, actually, those walls look so much like the ones that would have, uh, scarab beetles, but I haven't seen any so far. I just got a bunch of moths of wrath this time round. All right. Hey, that's a scarab beetle. All right. Uh, Try to recall my guys, but it didn't pull it back. But I was hoping I could kind of pull it back a little bit, but nope. Fortunately, for these guys will be not dead. I don't get to, like, reanimate them or anything. That's a little bit of a shame. Uh... This might be a problem. Hold on, let me try the Tremor Stones. So one of the few chances I actually get to use that because I uh, usually have a whole bunch of my own guys out so that would get in the way if I tried some turret so are those both shadows? I think they are. There's a bunch of invisibilities, but it's a bit late for that because I've already fought the monster brass. Oh, the boots have slowed you. Plus three boots of six intelligence, five strength. I got the plus four boots of four intelligence. 
I don't think they if they didn't have the slow them, they'd be better, but I don't think I'll go with them because they do have the slow on them. Alright, well that's uh me made all my way through the spider's nest there. I hate how there's no better spells here, but anyway. Um Book of Armaments has animate armor, right. Book of Power has Servitor, right. Anyway, let's go to Volts, I guess, now. Uh... Oh. An actual Lich, at least it's next to me. That means it can't get me with a Disnorm of Destruction. Ow. I might step back and try and, uh, fill a space with a creature. Guys, I should be resistant to the electricity, but it's still kind of nasty. Um, ow. Yeah, it can't zap me when I'm standing here. What can I get it with? I don't think I can get it with March. It's still alive, it probably is. There we go, it's finally dead, and I can finally get my health back. Um... I don't feel like my summons are doing the trick here, unfortunately. My zombies are dying, aren't they? Alright, it closed that up. I gotta teleport, but I'm running low on those. Also, I should probably identify something, because I can't exactly run here. Might as well spend my time just doing whatever. Identifying some fog. Oh, yeah. Uh... These have put me into a, like a spot I could actually free, but this is not feeling great. Oh, wow. These guys aren't turning into zombies. They're turning into, like, my zombies. They're turning into simulacrums because that necromancer. Oh, I hate that. Okay. Um... Also, they're like a bunch of undead, so I can't even get them with my... Hell torch light or anything. Well, this is a bit better. All right, some of my stuff. Uh, those are like a little bit awkward. I'm trying to bring the guys like back out into the the, into the middle of the room, and I'm somewhat succeeding at doing that. Oh no, one of these is sure to recall, right? Or oh, tried. They both tried to recall, but they didn't get them the chance. There's also a ghost around here somewhere. There it is. I knew there'd be a ghost because I could see it like the repel missiles of the guys that didn't usually have them. That's a lot of guys. If this guy recalls, I'm in big trouble. Um. Hmm. I think I have to shackle these guys, but it's a bit costly with the piety, unfortunately. Hopefully it gives me some uh, amount of zombies or something. It gave me a few, but not really a big army of zombies or anything. Just cleaving through my little guys, because I, I couldn't really pull it out into a little area. This sometimes happens when you can't uh, get to an enemy and it just kind of cleaves through all your creatures. Oh, lots of healing potions. I was pretty sure of those for a while. Uh, I don't want to go through that door, because then I'm just going to get, like, ambushed by all these creatures, and the door's going to get slammed to me. I can go through now, though I've uh, killed a few of the creatures outside of there. Well, inside of there, I guess. So I kind of pulled them out. I don't know. I don't know quite how to describe that. Oh, 
not stepping out. Um, there we go. That's better. Stepping into the midst of all my creatures is way better than uh, being where it was. All right. Is there everything on my shopping list? So there's not that much. There's a uh, manual of alchemy, one of digging, lignification potions. Hmm. Maybe it would have saved me from some difficulties with sharks earlier if I had to view souls, but I always have my hound out, so I guess I can always berserk up the sharks as well. Is there anywhere I want to go? I mean, I guess I'm just going down to the vaults. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else to really go this, uh, this time around. Uh, I must be tempted to get like a little bit of staff skill so it's, I can hit people's staffs a bit better. Where's the staff skill? It should be on this list somewhere. Staffs, there it is. In fact, it cross trades with something that I got a little bit of. I actually do have a little bit of skill. I'm just gonna get like eight skill or something. I don't think it's, uh, the element of staff needs a lot of skill. It's mainly uh, about the evocations, which I also have a little bit of. Um. I wouldn't say a huge belt off, but I do have a little bit. Uh oh. <sighs> this guy be mined up as a problem. I don't think I have a quicksilver with me, do I? There's no way I can just kill these guys. I don't have to teleport, but I'm running out of those. Alright. Well, at least I got another identify I can do on uh, four potions of haste. What happened to all the summoning spells this game? And really not giving them to me. I'm kind of disappointed on that because you almost have to go summon to get one of the stars on this challenge. Because it requires you to kill more creatures with like auxiliary damage than directly killing them yourself, which you could totally do as a summoner. Okay, I'll just buff my hound, I think. Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to rely on, like, a third-level spell, though, to keep me alive. It's sad. I guess I got the animate armor, which is a fourth-level spell. Can I actually make that animate armor better by putting on the plate again? I probably should give it a try. Let's give it a try. So if I put the plate back on, it's 10% failure. I mean, I guess it's a slightly better, having a slightly tougher animate armor. Um, my defense is probably about the same, I think. At last I checked, they were about the same. So yeah, let's just go with the plate for now, because I kind of got it castable again. Also, oh, what's uh, your kill ratio looking like? I can't actually check that right. If I do like a character dub, how do I even tell? Like, uh. I told to search for Vanquished in here to. Uh. I don't know. Vanquished Creatures is this list here. So, does it give a number? It gives a number somewhere, right? So, you 444 creatures be Vanquished. Collateral Kills ones is. 700 something. Vanquish Creatures Other is 200 something. Right, so I've got, I've got more collateral. I've got uh, 760 collaterals um, and 440 directs. Ah, oh, yeah. So I'm definitely going the right route here with the summoning. I'm kind of surprised how high my direct uh, kills are. I know I've been using, like, uh, melee attacks in combat while my summons try to do things, but it is uh, higher than I would have thought. It's actually going to be perfectly fine, though, if it stays like this. Doing well? Yep. Definitely in that respect, I'm doing well. I've already bounced, like, three uniques so far, though, which is a bit of a worry. Um, although I've bounced most of the ones I've come across, so I guess that's something. Oh, that's not good. Uh... Right, well, I'm gonna get allowed a lot more of the, uh, Nameless Horrors now that my... 
anime dub has got a bit more failure on it. I think it's only 10%, though. It's not terrible, um, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, the only reason this character can really cast uh, with such heavy armor on, like, plate armor on is because they got the wizardry going right now. Especially with the fact that I've only got, like, 18 int or something. Um... Well, it's fine, you can always do hell for some uniques. Man, imagine trying to clear, clear hell with, like, just animate armor. Uh... Hey, maybe I can clear hell for some spell bugs. I imagine Elven Horse will give me some spell bugs, so it usually does. So maybe that will be fine. All right, well, I can identify myself. Uh, whatever these four things are, attraction potions. Hopefully, I don't need to use attraction potions. All right, well, we've got a uh, resistance potion. We've got plus four scale mail. How protective is a plus four scale mail? I mean, it's decreased AC by two and increased ev evasion by seven. I see. I really need the might, but it does identify it. I guess I'll identify it. Whoops, I don't want to describe it. Hold up. So, I identify the might. I get the resistance. I get the fog. Yeah, that'll do. Ow. Ow, that's bad. Um <sighs> What do I reach for here? How much damage can this dude do? Oh, quite a lot, like seventy something. Um, I might try a healing potion, but this is a kind of bad. Um. Ow, again. Okay. No, these guys are not dying. I'm going to try to teleport out, but uh, I'm running low on those ones, unfortunately. Ow, no, that's really bad. I'm going to have to blink back, unfortunately. Oh, I was hoping the teleport would go off in time, but nope, it did not. Uh... The fact that those guys were... Not, like, in low corridors probably didn't help either. Unfortunately, I've also lost the way I'm dead now, but yeah, they're kind of doing a lot to me. Oh, come on, just kill the creature already. Um... Gonna exclude this general area. I feel like it's a bad area to go into with those guys hanging around. I think, uh, yeah, every time we've gone in there, I've had problems, so not a good idea heading back in there. Whoa. What's down the staircase? Uh, not too much stuff. I could probably go down, light my torch. Oh, there's a little hand cannon. I'm technically allowed to use that. Oh, hey, X to Hua. Fancy meeting you here. I've got good fire to this. I'll start with the Bind Soul, which did hurt me a bit, unfortunately. Uh, it should be able to be per paralyzed. All right. Oh, no, I'm going to need shackles here. Otherwise, I'm going to die. Oh, I'm still going to die if I don't do a healing potion, but I think the shackles are doing a bit. Oh, maybe not. Oh, another healing potion. This is really bad. Um, But at least I get a bow next to her out of it. Has 200 something health. I mean, the searing breath unfortunately goes down on damage, but the paralysis can be quite useful. So that's my fourth unique bound. That's making some decent progress. Yeah, now I've got a little unique on my side, which is nice. Oh, of course, the fire is going to have my creatures standing in it. Uh, wait, that's not where I meant to move. I went to uh, leave X2 up the front to do some damage. Uh, ah, that's not ideal. <sighs> oh, the blink's not really doable. Let me try the acid, I think. I 
just gonna use a bunch of acid because I kind of trapped. I got myself trapped. It was a bit silly of me. Would have made sense for some other characters once they fight better in corridors, but not really for this character. Oh, uh, eggs are like vulnerable to cold. Yeah, they're not even resistant to fire apparently, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, book, come on, come on, what's got Mercury Vapors? No, that's a disappointing book again. Oh, well, well, it's maybe the treasure room will have something for me. 12 scrolls teleport. I've got like one scroll teleport. Wait, that's not scrolls. I've got two now, okay. It's not quite one, but it's still um not great. Wait, where's my eggs to her? Wait, what happened to my eggs to her? I, did they die? What even killed them? They were like really healthy last time I saw them. Did they get frozen to death? I don't know. Also, I don't like how this guy's mighted up. It's causing me some problems. Um Uh, I just charmed the troll. There we go. The troll turned hostile eventually, right? There it goes. That's kind of disappointing. I feel like every unique I charm just doesn't live very long. <laughs> they die in like the in a couple of battles, unfortunately. But oh well, I I tried. Uh, I feel like a lot of that's to do with how weak my character is, uh, personally. Means that I don't manage to keep the uniques alive so well. I'm gonna go into here and recall my stuff. How goes the run? It goes, um, it's interesting, Rotomic. Like, I'm still alive. I wouldn't say it's going well, but it's going okay. I'm trying a summoner, but my best summoning spell is 4th level, so... Not the best, but Eurodelm Null is actually kind of keeping me alive with all the creatures. Except I, I struggle when I have no creatures out. Um... <laughs> yeah, so it's, uh, it's going okay. Oh, that's not right. The Nameless Horrid. Ow. How's that dude doing so much damage to me? I have to resist electric. Um. I have summon a little dude. Uh. Oh, I might have failed. I miscast. I think I do have fear, but unfortunately, the problem with the fear is that my own guys might hit some of these things. 42 damage, okay, that's alright. Um, I don't really want to go up, I think I just want to sit here and drink an Ambrosia and uh, try to get some health that way. There we go, that kind of kept me going for a little while. Resist Electric is cosmetic. <laughs> oh, it almost feels like in this run, but I think I'd be doing even worse without it. Ooh, two acquirements. Come on, be spellbooks on my acquirements. You know you want to be. Ooh, there's something. It's got some of the horrible things. Monstrous Menagerie. Excellent. Yes, let's take that. There's also plus eight plate mail, which I'm currently wearing plate mail, but <laughs> I think I really want the spells. Okay, well, I can probably get these cards by changing my armor. Um, 60% uh, fail into some horrible thing. 12% of the Monstrous Menagerie, like plate armor or something. All right, well, let's get both of them. That's going to be a huge upgrade to my spells. Um, let's go back to my chain scale bell. So with the scale bell on, I have 9% fail of the horrible things. Alright, let's bind some spells. So, uh, with the horrible things, could be on A. Um, Monstrous Menagerie could be on F. Yeah, that's probably fine. Ha, <laughs> the mimic. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, I had another requirement as well, but anyway. Oh, hey, Norris. Um... Can he see invisible? Can I go invisible? He 
can't see invisible. Kind of draining my magic points, I think. Maybe not. Uh, it's probably too late to bind him, unfortunately. Oh, it's too late to bind him. It's not listen to uh, Andrew Weavers that uh, Convoker knew what he was doing. It's not dead. Unfortunately, it's too late to bind him. Oh, I gotta lose my torch, but I'm going upstairs. The reason I'm going upstairs is I want to get uh, Norris's health back so I can go bind him. I hope that's not a mistake. Alright, let's get rid of the sharks. Um, there he is. Now I can hit him with the bind soul. Excellent. That's what I like to see. Um... I have no magic points. Um, I try brilliance, but like I'm still basically have no magic points. Uh, because he just drained my yeah, he just drains his gaze again, which is a problem. I can probably hold a torch and I'm there. We go. He's dead. He might not survive too long though. He's got two hundred something health. All right, but that's fine. I I've captured another unique, which is all part of my plan here. How many is that now? So I got um, is that my fourth unique? No, I feel like this game has suddenly got a whole lot better now that I've actually got some somewhat decent summoning spells on me. So can I enchant anything? I can't really. Those things aren't things I'm wearing. Also, what's this one? It's uh, evocations, blade hands, staff of cold, or money. I'm gonna take the manual of evocations. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's get some. It's basically free right now. Let's bring it up to like eighteen or something. Cause that should help. Well, well, help with my elemental stuff damage if I'm even doing melee attacks anymore, which I'm probably not doing quite as many of those anymore. No, this feels way better. And I'm getting in some more auxiliary kills as well, because I got some better summons, although it doesn't seem to really be having problems with the auxiliary kills. Alright, go down. Summon things. Bring some more stuff. Uh... Oh, it got confused from the confusing touch there on my, um, what's his name, Norse that I've got following me around. That's kind of nice. Yeah, because a confused enemy is definitely a lot less dangerous than a non-confused one. All right. I actually have repel missiles on this character, which is why the um, archer enemies are be quite as bad. Uh oh, I pull back on my undead because I don't want Norse to die there. Uh, why is there so many quicks over dragons? I might just back up a little bit. But there might be an entire vault full of them or something. Uh, although it might just be the two for whatever reason. Alright, well, it's, a, it's an armor shop. There's probably nothing I need. Uh, I can't wear pearl dragon armor. I'm not allowed to. There's plus five ring mail of harm. I'll not harm. Um, a heavily enchanted ring mail would be fine. It would help my spellcasting chances out a little bit, I guess. Um, what am I missing? Is Norris still here? No. How did Norris die? I guess he just ran in and died, right? Okay. I'm running out of magic points, so... I don't know if I can really get them by retreating, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> I don't actually want to go up, I just want to keep on retreating back even further. Yeah, I swear none of my uniques last very long. It's, uh, it's very tragic, they all just uh, run off and get themselves killed. Why don't I give it over your inventory? Let's not do that. 
No, that I'm in a better spot with my sub as a salty fan. Like, yes, man. Fan 22 it is not bad given how this character started. Because I didn't actually start this character as a summoner, but then I realized that I'd have to do a summoner if I wanted to get enough collateral kills instead of personal kills. Um, I can't stop that guy recalling. Which means I gotta run low on magic points. Um, dudes are not killing that fire giant, which is a bit of a problem. I can run back and try to get some magic points. Um, they might even be aware of the bite off one of those guys as well. Unfortunately, this is a dead end, so there's only so much I can do. Alright, go for the wounded one. Is there something I can throw in personally to make this a little bit easier? There we go. Oh, don't recall on me again. Hmm. Got a little bit of magic points. Oh, there we go. This dude got par paralyzed. Excellent. I'm just so low on magic points. What is that club? It's a plus seven giant club of draining resist poison. Three strength, three end. But it also had a plus five giant club of draining and resist poison. That guy was kitted out with a dual giant clubs of draining. It's a good thing it never got close to me and only ever stayed up there by summons. So I reckon it could have made fairly short work of this character. Though I do have some defenses on this character at least. That's um, yeah, those aren't going too bad. Was I had a while while I was working on my defenses. Ooh, who's the ghost of this? Key maxed, maxed, ah, I can't even say that. Key maxed ghost. Something like that. There are GD air elements of some Mac lab. Well, they have Bombard, Plasma, Fireball, Cause Fear, Iron Jolt, Airstrike. Oh, they were they had good spells. I would have minded playing that character. They're also guarding a nice pair of boots, but I think I'll leave them be. I might be able to come back for some of the old, like, older ghosts if they have anything worthwhile. Um, once I finish Vaults, I might check, see if there's any more ghosts that are like worthwhile going and visiting. Oh, that staff probably not that useful, just the staff of Earth. Yeah, I've got like an elemental staff or something, and I'm not even like an elemental character. <laughs> Don't just run back into the choke point and die. The enemies are using the choke points against me in this case. Alright, well, I'm done with the vaults, so let's go uh, check for transporters and transparent doors. Uh, not the vaults one, there's a dungeon level 13 one. I think I can probably do that. I think, uh, I can't even remember what they had anymore. Just sonar? Okay. Uh... This looks fine. Might just get my magic back and then continue fighting these guys. You mean done exploring? I mean, I guess I technically have. I have looked at the area, but if I haven't really killed everything. And there's some sort of statue in here. I can just command all my guys to go run up to the statue. If I go run up to the statue myself. There we go. And uh, the shop. Oh, it's abandoned. Of course it is. Um, there's a potion of might, which I don't really need. I guess there's a little bit of money in here, but there's not a lot of other things. So let's check for more transporters. Actually, I might just auto explore a little bit. Um, well, I'm dead at level eight. It's all with endless ghosts, isn't it? But I guess I'll go check it out. None of these ghosts are like massively tough, but I might have to go split them up at some stage. Or maybe not. I might just be able to fight all of them at this point. I mean, it is just dungeon level 8. They weren't exactly going to be tough. And I get an identify out of it, which I can use on cancellation. Nice. All right. Any other transporters? There's less three. Oh, that's a horrible one with uh, these guys. No, I think I'll leave that one. I, I guess some sort of potion. doesn't really say what. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Let's just go to the elven holes. I should have all the resists I need, apart from maybe resist negative in the elven holes. Uh, light the torch, of course. 
get the ball rolling and get my piety going again. Hopefully I can find some uniques in here. That would be nice. Hmm. It's paralyzing all my guys, which makes it kind of somewhat hard to retreat back. All right. Well, I can grab a blink here. I've got like 4,000 gold or something ridiculous. Grab a summoning. Do I need a silence? I got enough silence, I think. I can go to the identify on... Ah, Berserk Rage. Oh, well, freeze up some inventory space. Can my guys all see this guy? Um, okay. <laughs> I mean, Tactical Monstrosity will do the trick. There's some horrible things I should maybe be using a bit more than I am. Oh, yes, Wigglaf and Donald together? Hmm. How do I split them up? What can I not? Um, Soulbind Wiglaf, I guess. Oh, that kind of hurt. I hate how much damage that does to me when I Soulbind someone, but oh well. And then I get a Holo Torch. Get those guys. Some some horrible things. I didn't get that many of them. I'm missing magic points to do the soul bind. Come on. Oh, I think a teleport can do the trick here. Please don't die, Donald. Oh, he's gonna die, isn't he? Oh, he's still alive. Hey, he might, he might have survived. No, don't preserve me, Donald. Come on. I just need my I need his health back, actually. Okay. Hopefully he's healed up by the time I meet him again, because I need to soulbind him. Unfortunately, I kind of soulbound him in the wrong order. I just did it in that order because I knew that uh, Wigglaf would die first. Well, I thought it'd die first. All right, uh, let's bite another soul here on Donald. Uh, bring out the horrible things, please. Wigglaf would be so nice, but hey, it's Donald now, I guess. Well, what does Wiglaf have? He had this plus four. Oh, minus cast hat. Come on, that doesn't make sense. He was casting just fine in that hat. But hey, I guess enemies don't respect the minus cast property on items. Oh, well, so I hate the mind up Donald. He's only got 90 health. He's probably going to die. But I bound, like, have I bound six souls now? I was, uh, Force of Fusillade, Petrifying, or Radiate. So I'm, like, uh, I don't know, two-thirds of the way there with my Binding of Souls. I might be able to make it. We'll see how many more uniques I get. But yeah, I think I can get pretty much every unique if I'm careful with my soul binding here. I gotta actually check what I'm meant to be doing again. Make sure I'm on track here. So I'm using two different types of weapons, which is correct. No unarmed, which is correct, okay. Um, I'm wearing metal armor, which is correct. Oh, two chemist dance I haven't found. I need to get the two chemist dance and two chemist dance a hundred times. Enslave at least nine uniques with Urindel's Manal, Spine Soul, and do more collateral kills. Right, the collateral kills is on track because I'm a summoner. Um, let's just check for two chemists. Uh, what even? <sighs> Wait, that's not even gonna help that much. I guess I could just look for like kegs or something. I don't even. Oh, I should check how you spell two chemists. I forgot how to spell it. Okay, where is it? Uh, T U K I. All right. Nah. Ah, what am I doing? Don't want to redefine the key. Uh. No, nah, okay. Well, if I don't find that, unfortunately, I have to do like 10 levels of a ziggurat, but I guess that's not too bad. The worst thing is, though, if I find it on the 10th level of the ziggurat, <laughs> and then I have to uh, do it on 100 guys, I'm, I'm having done most of the game already. Uh, and the ziggurats do like to have lots of spell books, so it's totally possible that would be the first place I find it. Um, 
What's this? Discord, Aussie Cube is refrigeration. Toxic radiance. All right, sure. Also got an identifier that I can use on this. So we've got some malignification. Oh, there's a cloak of strength. Got the scarf of resistance. I technically don't need this much resistance, but I don't think a cloak is that. It's past zero cloak of strength. It's not that good. If it was better enchanted, then sure, maybe I'd take it, but not for that one. Uh, I'm surprised how long this uh, Donald guy survived given his 90 hit points, but I guess he... Does he have a shield? He does have a shield. You can't see it on his little ghost thing, but he does. So I guess that helps him out. Oh, I can't take the staircase yet. It's probably just an altar and like, oh, honestly, oh, spell books. I can always do with spell books. So we've got... Haunt, Vile Clutch, Bronze Battling Boulders, Summon Small Mammals. I can maybe get a Haunt, maybe. Oh, Annihilation says like Shadow, Firestorm, light, Chain Lightning. I don't need that one. Manifold Salt, Ozzy Cubers Armor, the Fugue of the Fall. And I'm not really a melee character. I mean, I vaguely am, but not really. Formula Prism, Serum Rain, Magic Darts. Okay. Polar Vortex, Refrigeration, and Simulacrum. Servitor Bombard, Bellsphere. I've seen that book before. Permafrost Eruption, Sculpt Simulacrum, Summon Ice Beast, Hailstorm. Alright, well, maybe Haunt out of those. Um, maybe. I can't really got enough spells to keep me going, but if I, um... If I don't find any good spells later on, I'll get myself some Haunt, I think. And there's Necromancy, so I'd have to spec into that, which is the uh, reason I don't end up getting it a lot of the time. But it's a good spell. Like, you can win the game with Haunt. Um... But yeah, I've already got some horrible things, which is pretty nice. Oh, still got a manual on the evocations. I'm actually going to get a little bit more. Just get it up to a ridiculous level. I don't actually have that many evocable things, but it does help when I hit things with stars, which I occasionally do. Uh, just because it's, like, so cheap right now. Uh, it's plus two cloak. Don't need the repulsion. I'm surprised the repulsion is not grayed out. But it's not. Surely you can't stack repulsion. I don't know. Maybe you can. Because I've got the... Where is it? My gizmo um, that's giving me... Resist points and resist corrosion. Four magic points. Wizardry, clarity, and repel missiles. Yeah, that was really, really nice. Like, that wizardry has made a huge difference. Um, I think I might actually be using the poison resist on it now. As well. And the resist corrosion. So I'm using the resist on it. The wizardry is definitely good. I mean, clarity is actually kind of nice as well, sometimes. Stops me getting berserked up, which is nice. Uh, stops me getting confused as well, I think. Oh, there we go. Finish the evocations. That's high enough then. So let's get... I don't even know what sort of title I'm going for this character. I'm not really worrying too much about titles. I might just get some more summoning, <laughs> honestly. Bring it up to 26 or something. I still got a little bit of fail and some horrible things, so I should get that one back online. I'm not sure why I said back online there, because it's not like I've ever had it online before. Right, uh, I don't think I'll do the Hall of Blades, I'll just go downstairs. Huh. Oh, more stuff. Okay. I don't want to have to go up, especially not up this staircase, so I might try and hang around here a bit. Um, can some of these guys please go for this weapon that's attacking me? I feel like I'm wounded. I might drink a healing potion. Uh, there we go. It's dead. Just, mm. I don't quite need to go up yet, but if I see anything too bad, I'm going to have to go up. So that wouldn't be the right staircase to go up because it might lead to Hall of Blades. So it would not be a good state to end up going to the Hall of Blades right now either.
Oh, did I light? I did light my torch. I just noticed there wasn't a lot of zombies around or anything. Although I think you do you get the same amount of zombies without the torch? You just don't get the piety or something? I think it's something like that. Because I know you definitely still get the zombies without having the torch lit. That's uh, tough elves. Let me just retreat back. Unfortunately, no empty spaces to uh, bring out my summons. Let's see if I can bring some stuff back into here. Yeah, there we go. Then I can just summon an entire army on top of their heads. Mm, ah, it's a jewelry shop. It's not going to have anything useful. I mean, I'll take it anyway. It's got a summon talisman, but nope, nope, not going to help me. And technically, the challenge was updated to specify that you are allowed to have your armor melted. Um... So, technically, you could do this as a shapeshifter if you really wanted to. Is plate armor or resist electric resist boys? I got those resists. See if it's my might. I had that at some stage. I can't remember if I've got any more. Or oh, magic potion. I've been kind of wanting some of those before. I've kind of had to do some uh, brilliance before and just hope for the best. But natural magic might be a bit better. I want to actually be... It's not the best. Um, it's happened to a few guys there, but it's not ideal. Yeah, I'm not getting an open space to surround the enemies, um, but oh well. Uh, which is running me out of magic points, which may be a bit of a problem. I could take the staircase up, but I don't know if I want to. I mean, I got probably got to at this point. I think I do have to, because I'm just running out of magic points there, which means I'm not going to get any more piety, but at least I'm still on a bit of piety. So what's up to the staircase? Why is that on explored? I should go uh, do that one. I guess the level is just kind of split up or something. What's this again? It was strength, resist corrosion, flight. I think that's the only source of flight that I've seen so far, because we can't wear um ablets, there's a lot less sources of flight. Or rings, I mean. Rings are the main thing of flight, not ablets. Yeah, like out of this little slightly open area here, it's so much easier blowing everyone up. Uh, let's try and bring this one back. I'm not sure if it even hurt me, but I guess it hurt me as soon as I started summoning creatures. That's a distortion, I think, because I think it just hit me with a distortion weapon. Um, all of those guys killed that one because that's the one actually summoning things right now. I'm glad those uh, guys don't start with axes, the uh, blade masters. Otherwise, they'd be absolutely shredding through my guys. I was going to start of conjuration air with resist electric, resist cold on it. Um, I don't think I actually need that. I don't have conjuration spells or air spells, so I'll just keep with my elemental stuff here. Can any of my guys actually see this guy? Is it invisible? Fine, I'll bring out the horrible things. Ah, uh, I'm not convinced those things can see it either. Oh, come on. Come on, just attack it. They're not even attacking it back, are they? I don't think any of those ones can see him as we either. Oh, I'll just have to... Oh, wait, something got it. I think it's a visibility finally wore off and they all just went and slaughtered it. Let's get the full army out. All right, level 22. Doing pretty well with my levels. Cannons are kind of getting summoned back into the open, but it's fine because my creatures are back here as well so they can go fight the cannons, I guess. Uh, I should probably retreat back even further if I try to rest, because I seem to be just attracting more and more guys in my attempts. I mean, I was bringing the battle to get into a good era to fight, so I wasn't too worried about it until I started running out of magic points. I can't wear leather armor, but that's way too light for this character to wear. Uh, it's a dagger. It's a dagger of inch. 
I mean, I do kind of need the elemental stars for this. Force my backup weapon is a willpower. See invisible spear. I see. I think I do need that for the willpower. I think I had other things for willpower, but I think they were weapons. Now I'll, I'll bring these back out of the open. This looks fine. But I just ordered these guys to go kill that guy. It shouldn't live very long. There we go. And in fact, it did not live very long. I don't think the zombies are surviving so well because every time I retreat back, like the zombies uh, end up in a corridor getting killed type thing. That's all right. Also, I don't think elf zombies are like massively tough or anything because I don't think they keep any of their spells, which is their main thing that they do. Or I guess the archers shoot people, but I'm not sure if they keep that either. Oh, I can't care about that ring because I can't put it on. Dagger, right as cold as the steam is no, it's not that good. Sort of chainmail or whatever. Um, guy's got an amulet, which I don't care about. All right then. Should go for the summoner first, definitely. Because it's the one that can get rid of my creatures. I don't really have enough magic points to bring them all back out. Um, I need to retreat back further, I think, because... I'm out of magic points after this fight. Let's just go back into this room. Yeah, this one seems to be safe, but the one in front seems to be a dangerous room. Wait, did it not follow me? No, there it goes. It was just taking a little while to get around that corner or something. Right, see if they have any books for me. They have uh, books. Do they have permafrost eruption? All right. Um. See if they have any more books for me. They probably do. The elves often have quite a few books. So there's another book. It's got pile drive. I don't think I need a pile driver this time round, but we'll see what else there is. There's another book. So we've got Martyr's Nell Dispel Undead. Ooh, maybe a Martyr's Nell. Um, hmm. If I was going to get a thing, it would probably be the Martyr's Nell. Let's go check on that. I mean, it's castable. Sure, I'll get it. Signed to E. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Um, Actually, I might just put it on H. What did I get this book? I don't think it was important, right? It was a uh, tail sword. No, it wasn't important. Ooh, a helmet of intelligence. My helmet's not even. It's just not even. Uh, let's uh, let's drop that one. Put on this one. It's been as what? Three more intelligence? I can probably even enchant up. I think I had some enchant armor. So, yeah. There you go. Free intelligence. We've got boost of rampaging. Mine's better, right? Mine a plus four boost event. We've got uh, summon lightning spire, ice beast, and uh, sandblast. Nah, those are too low level. I've got a uh, Death Storm, Notches, Bog, and Stag. Nah, not really my things. But anyway, that's fine. So that's the Elven Horse done. Um, my results are good. I can go to Depths, right? Hope for some uniques. <laughs> Is there some way of finding out how many times your soul bound are unique? They must be right. Because that's one of the things the uh, challenges ask for. Some, there's got to be some way of checking that. Because I think I've done six, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Because um, there was Donald, there was... Oh, what's his name? Wiglaf, there was... Polyphemus. I know there was more. I can't even remember what the early game ones were. Oh, there was uh, Kirk as well. And I'm pretty sure I had one when I went and fought Kirk. So that would make it six, I think. But I'm not entirely sure who I had when I went and fought Kirk. I know I had someone. Unless that was Polyphemus. Oh, you're checking... Wait, that gives... Was that like the game ID? Interesting. <laughs> Hmm. 
Go check this out. I probably don't need it. It's uh, fire resistant intelligence. I mean, it's definitely something. Oh, you're checking for... Oh, unique doesn't chant? Something like that. So you've kind of figured out vaguely what it is. A bombard battle sphere. All right. Uh, do I care about a mind burst? I probably do. I might drop that cloak. And also the plate of is probably too heavy by now, so I think I can get rid of that one. Also, no, I still have that uh, self death, but I don't really know if that's that like, good. Also, I forgot to raise my torch. Once these guys come along, I'm gonna raise my torch because I am currently mine, so I'm hoping my magic points keep up. Uh currently okay. Although I want this to work, I've probably got to do some shackles, I think. I ain't giving me many dudes. I'm getting some undead out of this. Okay, I need one more magic point. Oh, ow. Oh, there's kind of a lot of guys left in the amount of magic points. What do I do here? Um... Is this silly? I could emulate all these guys. I think I blow them up. Alright, it's one dude survived, but that's probably fine. It's slower than me anyway. I could probably finish it off with like a, I don't know, my bus or something. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the command is there to see what uh, uniques you've enchanted. Yeah, because that would definitely be a nice thing to know. Oh, the bot's still thinking about it. Uh. Huh. So if I did something like uh L M dot uh, let me think. I guess I'm a Coglin artifice. I don't know if I played one of those before. And it's and shard equals unique. We'll see if that comes up with a sensible number or not. I definitely haven't done like a Coglin artifice before. Oh, you might have found it? No, that one looks wrong. That's like 40 something. Uh, wait, is that not the abbreviation for Cognon Artificer? I don't know. Or maybe the new Yerodelm not broke it? Maybe. Maybe it did break it. How old is, like, the latest other one? I, I don't know if it says that. I mean, that was, like, 2014 sometime. Oh, no, that was a different thing. That was, uh... Is there a way of, like, listing out all the milestones you've had in a particular game? Because if I could list out all the milestones I got in this particular game, that would probably work. Um... Because then I might be able to figure out what it actually calls it now these days. That's giving, uh... Oh, is that listing the versions? Does it sort of any particular way? I see some 0 0.30s in there. I'm not seeing the new Euro Del Nel, though, am I? Whoa, what is this? It's a brooch of shielding. I don't need that one. It's formed prism and searing ray. All right. Because it really will depend, like, how many pad loads or something I have to go charm up or something. I got Yara as well, I'm and I really don't want to have to do pound lords because every time you like soul bite something, you get horribly pained, and it makes you a lot weaker. I'm not sure I want to fight pound lords while weakened, right? Oh, that's uh, that gives you the type. So there's branch exit and end and stuff. Oh, the branch end achievement, interesting. Uh, or oh, milestone. There's Lair Orc Shore. They're all branch and it's an ending ones. Uh, wait, there's something about Azrael. That's probably seeing them and killing them. They were the ghosts. What's up? Wait, there's only two times Kirk. Ah, uh, that doesn't sound right though. 
Is it possible to see exactly what the Coke ones were? Because they might have been... Um, surely one of them would be for killing Kirk, right? And the other one would be for seeing them, right? So maybe it's just not giving the milestone. That would be kind of sad. Alright, let's go downstairs. Uh... Oh, did I solve... I solved around Asriel, didn't I? That was the first one I got. That's my six siddles. Asriel, Kirk, Polyphemus... Somebody? Wiglaf and, uh... And, uh... Hmm, I don't even know. Wiglaf and the other guy, the Donald guy. Oh, sure, just as unique? Yeah, it's not really... Mm. Not really be but massively helpful there with the commands. It looks like it did at one stage work, so you had to had things right. Am I actually just slide my torch I think? No, you, it looks like you had the right command, it just didn't want to work for whatever reason anymore. Yeah, it must be the you your Dell now that broke it. I wonder how that's um oh these are good magic potions. I wonder how it's like counted, like how the tournament keeps track of it. Because there's gotta be some way. Alright, well that's some nice potions at least. I got some magic ones now. In case I run myself out of magic. I've got some willpower. Let's see. 1% on how. That's not too bad. Whoa! Okay. That's a lot of damage. Let me just step back. Oh, there's a giant here. Let's just step back a bit more. Um, I think I'm fine, but that was, uh, that was a shock getting hit by that guy. I mean, I might just try a little bit of Ambrosia while my zombies fed for me. Alright, that's, um, about as well as that could be expected to go. There we go, he's finally dead, but he's still got his little hounds and stuff. Uh, so I'll bring them back out to the open, I guess, where I can actually get a few creatures around them. I got a bit of health back now after that Ambrosia, so that's good. You think the two are, wait, bound? Do you think those are the ones I bound? Uh, so you think I bound Asriel, Donald, Kirk, Norris, Polyphemus, Wiglav, X to Hua, and Roach and Robin, wait. Oh, those are the ones I haven't got two of. Right. No, that makes sense. So I've got... I've already done seven of them. No, those those will make sense. Those are all ones I have bound, definitely. Um, it's got Donald in there, right? Yeah, it does. Azrael, I've definitely got. Kirk, I got. Norris, I got. Polyphemus, I got. Wiglaf, so okay. Yeah, those seven are true. So yeah, those are the ones that have two um two things. But it looks like it might have changed what exactly what it is. So it's not the enchant one anymore. What it was, it's something else. Um, no, that's good. No, so the command... Okay, I can probably just copy-paste that command when I need to do it. But two more uniques. I can probably remember that. And I think there's a decent chance to get two more uniques this game. Without having to go into, like, Pandemonium or something crazy like that. Go to go searching for uniques. I don't care about this anti-magic falchion. I'd rather have my magic points than an anti-magic falchion. That's the case with a lot of characters. Like, oh, like, well, I could put that on, but then I wouldn't have any magic points. So let's not put that one on. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Like, I'll try and back up into uh, this will do. Yeah, I think that's getting a proper army in, although I might back up a little bit more because I'm kind of winning this fight. I do still have magic points at least, which is kind of important when it comes to keeping the fight going. Are you looking at, uh... So that one says kill the... right. Which makes sense, I did kill him. Oh, it's bound and killed at the same time, is it? What do you mean? So I was in the bag, it's definitely doing well this time in this world. As long as I don't mess things up, I've got everything under control here. Like, uh, I've got a decent set of spells, so that's fine. I've got... 
Um, oh my God, that's helping me out. So that's pretty good. Yeah, everything so far is looking pretty good. The only thing that I worried about is two Kimas. Which might not happen this time round. Um, <laughs> at least it gives you a, like an out if you don't find two Kimas. You can uh, just do 10 levels of a ziggurat instead, which I guess is all right. I'm not like optimized for a ziggurat, but something's okay in a ziggurat, uh, I think, for the first few levels before it gets too wild. Uh... Oh, what's wrong with that? The one that takes away from their hands? Yeah, that's what I... I've got to use a hundred times if I find it. Otherwise, I've got to do ten levels of a ziggurat if I don't find it. <laughs> and worst case scenario, if I don't like the tenth level of a ziggurat, then have to go uh, do two Kivas dance on ten people. Although, if I have a low, like, uh, chance of actually fainting someone, I can just hit the same dude, like, over and over or, so and over or something. Because it's not succeeding a hundred times, it's uh, casting it a hundred times, so... Yeah. I don't, know if there, I don't know if I could ever get a spot where I could just cheese it, maybe. Is that my target? Like, could I just um, find someone with high willpower behind a, like some bars or something and just go cast them repetitively? I don't know if that quite works. <laughs> oh, it's the rules for the, yeah, rules for the um, cosplay, definitely. Maybe can we cheese? I hope so. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, oh, makes two milestones, one for killing, one for biting simultaneously, but they both have the same type. Oh, interesting. Oh, so you can't exactly separate them out. I guess that's, um, not the most useful, but I guess it's something. At least, uh, at least you can tell just by, like, the number of them. Wait, did I forget to light my torch? Uh-oh. Why do I give up forgetting to light my torch? Okay. Well, this time I'll remember to light my torch. Well, for the rest of the level, at least. Uh, I feel like we should kill that. There we go. I like the look at this red lich, but I guess it's... It's going to struggle to summon just because I've got so many summons in here. Minus... Oh, it's plus four boots and minus five inch. My boots are also plus four, so I don't actually care about those. I've been getting really lucky with the artifact boots, apparently. Uh... What else have we got? I mean, I don't care about two-handed weapons, so I can leave those on the ground. There's also... This dude... Fortunately, oh, I might just back up. Yeah, it falls me into the range of the ice beast, but I was feeling a little wounded. I might... What's the easiest way to get into this guy's range? I guess I go around this way. So what's something that's supposed to be, like, reasonably close to it? Which is not the easiest to do. Oh, I hit an angel a hundred times. Yeah, an angel's got good willpower, right? Like a uh, Dave or something. Let's see. Uh, I don't even know how to spell Dave. -er. Um... Why not even? Uh, I mean, uh, look at Manos. Manos has got good willpower. That was definitely not the right way to do that. It'd be... It's not like that, is it? No, it's not. Um... Probably got some more letters in there. I feel like I'm missing something. It's maybe that? Hey, there we go. I mean, that dude's got like four willpowers. So you could probably like hit it a hundred times <laughs> before it finally drops his weapon or something. And sometimes you do get those behind fences, like uh, guarding ziggurats and stuff, but not always. Oh, you got it there, Geal of the Dave. Yep. I, I figured out eventually, but no, that would have been helpful if I didn't. Oh. Bring this back to here, I guess. Uh, or right after you, like, pray to Zom. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any plans to uh, pray to Zom here. I'm not allowed to switch to Zom. I have to stick to Yordel Null, no matter whether I want to or not, which I kind of do want to. I mean, Yordel Null's doing quite a bit for me. I should do good damage with Assassin Mod because I'm actually skilled with the evocations. There we go. 
<laughs> oh, there's no uh, no David guarding my uh, ziggurat today, unfortunately. But oh well, right uh, way down here. Can you find any uniques in the ziggurat? I don't know if you can. It's like out of curiosity, if I needed to go buy some more, I don't think I can find them in my ziggurat. Can I? Oh, my end's actually down a little. Right. Uh, I don't want to do here, so I might just hit this dude. Um, I think I do acid on this guy. <sighs> Bring us more creatures, okay. Unfortunately, this guy can do damnation on me now because I'm not next to one of his friends, which is the only thing stopping it me, uh, stopping it doing damnation on me. Did I? I did raise my torch, just making sure that I raised it so I build up a bit of party. My party's not building up that much, though. It's like stick on five pips, but that makes sense. So six pips is the hardest one to get, I think. Um. Should be a, bit, a little bit careful of my uh, subnormal things because I drained my intelligence. Actually, it's only drained one point now. That's not too bad. I think it was drained two points for a while, but not anymore. That's a lot of gold dragons. And they even got my intelligence back, which was awfully nice of them. Right, well, this is my entrance to Zot for when I need to go into there. I think it's technically worth some points of uh, seeing the entrance to Zot, but you kind of had to see the entrance to Zot to win anyway. So if you're going for full points, it doesn't really mean anything to seeing the entrance to Zot. Oh. On his back. Okay. Uh, that'll do. <laughs> I just tried to bring the bag out to the open. Uh, I didn't really want to attract more creatures. Oh, hey, Marjorie. I'm actually going to quickly step upstairs here. Alright, well I've seen Marjorie, which is another unique for me to solve by at some stage. I need to separate her from her, her creatures as best I can though. Because, uh... Yeah, I, I won't be able to fight her with all those creatures around, I don't imagine. Now it's time to go up, but I can probably just go down, back down the same staircase and summon in some things. Oh, there she is. I can probably take her out right now. Let's bind her. She might be actually a good soul bind as well. Oh, that's quite a bit of pain, but oh well. Ooh, she's almost dead. There we go. She's soul bound. Yeah, I think she's a good soul bound. So she's got 160 health. She's got a little bit of AC, a little bit of armor class, no fire resist. Why is Marjorie no fire resist? I don't even know. She's all about burning things up, but apparently she is not very careful with her burning. Um, I think I go up here and bring in Marjorie. There we go. So she doesn't die on the other level, but she probably would die if I was not it. But that should bring me up to eight soul binds. So I'm getting pretty close. Now I just had to like find Pajit or something <laughs> to get another soul bound, bound um, to my army. It's always great having an extra creature, but I seem to actually get out some pretty big armies with this character. It's like summoning everything, get some zombies, yeah. What I just need is like some dragon school so I can have even more stuff. What's going on here? No one's nibbling away at my creatures, are they? Because sometimes that can be making it hard to rest as just having like a little dude behind uh, nibbling away at your creatures or something like from out of view. Oh, level 26 is something. I mean, that's as probably as high as I go with that one. Um... Uh, minus two on the uh, invocations. I don't think I get a title from that one then. What can I get a title from? I don't think there's the invocation one. Is that uh, I might just get a little bit of fighting and a little bit of dodging right now. Dodging could probably also go up to like 20 or something. 
Um, not the best. Actually, no, I might start the dodging on like 15 and I might also get the uh, rub to 15 because I do both. Uh, well, I actually have medium armor here, right? It's like scale mail or something, so. And my dex is like, oh, this is 21. It's all right. Oh. Oh. Hey, Pudget. Um, I gotta bite his soul. Ow. Where'd he go? Pudget is devoured by a terror of reality. No, okay, I can't soul bite him then. Well, so much for that. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I tried. But uh, he got smacked by Marjorie and her demon whip of distortion, apparently. Alright, well, I gotta go get myself another rune. Where do I want to get that one from? Um, If I saw by the royal jelly, it still opens up, like, the area, right? Oh, there's cactus giant, there's mana viper. Hold on, let me go check with these summoning spells. Apparently I've got some new ones I didn't know about. This horde... I wish it would warn you before leaving the level with your Adele now. Yeah, because it warns you after leaving, which is not quite right. It should warn you before. I might get the haunt. Um, maybe a Cactus Giant? A cactus Giant is alright. Alright, so let's redo some of these spells. Like, rebind them. So I've got... Cactus Giant can be on H, I think, instead of my Martyrs now, because I'm not really using that much. But it's alright, um, it does help protect my guys, which is fine. Where's my... Some horrible things, okay, where's the Haunt? It's on E, that's probably fine. Instead of getting these skills that I just set to like, getting, I should probably actually just get some Necromancy, I might just get like 10 Necromancy or something. Anyway, I'm gonna try the Slime Pit, so I got the Resist I need. Uh, I lost some Piety. Um... I go try and soul by the royal jelly. Hopefully I can get a little bit more piety before I have to do that though. So there you go. I guess part is kind of out of the equation unless I wanna go visit the abyss or something. Um Okay. Trying to get some guys around me, but we're kind of all scattered around the level from that dispersal that hit me. But I think everything is under control again. Excellent. And I've got the way down to the third level here. I should be... I'm lighting my torch, just making sure I get the piety, basically. Uh... Except, of course, once I think I'm skipping down these levels, it's not working perfectly to get the piety. Well, engulfed by that dude. Okay, I'll just hit the dude that's engulfing me, I think. Should be fine. I do do... I do, like, competent melee on this character, which is kind of crazy, because I got so much, uh, implications that my elemental stuff can actually do stuff. I wonder how much... I mean, his physical damage is, like, nothing, right? 12 or something, but it's, uh, blowing people up does stuff. Alright, last level here. Hopefully not going to need to retreat up a staircase, because then I'll lose my, uh, torch. Is this the old school ending, or is this a new one? This is a new one, right? It's just similar to having the stuff in the center. Oh, hey, Royal Jelly. I need to abide your soul, Royal Jelly. Um... I think a little bit of emulation might do the trick, but I'll end up with the rock slimes. Um, okay. Oh, ow. Uh, no, this is bad. I'm gonna, uh, think I'm gonna blink back here before I do anything. Do I want to start teleporting is the real question, or do I run for the stairs? Um... I think a teleport is the right option here. Okay, good. Oh, I lost my raw jelly, unfortunately, but that should have been soul bind number nine, I do believe. Let me go find the command there that Sally had going to find out the things. Uh... 
And try that one again. It looks like it might have been this. So it's saying I've got Asriel. Seven, eight. Wait, where's the... Where's the Royal Jelly on that one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not seeing the Royal Jelly on that list. But I it, maybe it just hasn't updated yet. Because I definitely killed the Royal Jelly. And soul bound it. In fact, it hasn't even mentioned the fact that I killed the royal jelly, so it just hasn't updated yet. That's fine. What have we got in this book? Come and be Dragon School. It's going to be Light Game. Where I might be able to do that. It's got some plus one. Boots, I don't need those. Um, uh, needs to update, you guess? Yeah, I guess give it, a, give it a few seconds to update. It's usually pretty quick with the bot ones. I usually find they tend to be updated a lot quicker than like the stats websites and stuff. But they still take a little while. Oh, chainmail of fire resist willpower. I'm wearing like cold resist, so it's helping a little bit of it, but... Um, I could try this on. Let's see how much armor class it would give me. It would give me 10 armor class, lose 2 evasion. Yeah? Give it a try. They still cast, that's the main thing. So, 7% fail on the horn. That's actually not too bad. Right, I mean, chainmail, I guess, is the right thing to wear then. What have we got here? Dodging. I guess that's helpful. Got ignition. Sure. What else have we got? Another spell book we've got. Passage Columbia. Hey, two chemo stunts. All right, well, I've got to get two chemo stunts. That's, um, got to cast it a hundred times. So it's 20% failure. Um, got to get a little bit of hexes, wherever that is. I'll just get like, nah, I'll try like, try like five, but I'll probably need to get more. Let's get like the minimum amount to get it castable, I think. I don't know. I don't feel like getting super tied to hexes or anything to this character. Alright. Well, that's uh, two Kiva Stars is probably a good thing because it means I'm not going to have to head into a Ziggurat or anything, which is definitely nice. What else have we got here? We've got a healing potion, Bog Jaws, Revivication. I probably don't have enough Necromancy for the Bog Jaws. Got another spell book? Nope, I've barely have read an Everbudding Encyclopedia. Yeah, I definitely read one of those because I got like emulation, I think, out of it. I care about a glaive. Alright, I might be done in here. Nothing for that 5,000 gold? Not really. Those are. I mean, it's digging. The book had like haunts or something, right? And they can ruin that from my shopping list because I already got the haunt. Excellent, so let's just get out of here. Um, I bound nine uniques. Okay. What else is there to do? I mean, I got a, got my three runes right. I got to cast the two keepers wildly often. But let's just go to Zod for now, I think. I wanted somewhere where I could cheese that, but I'm not quite sure how to set it up. I need something with a decent amount of willpower and a weapon where I can just like, uh, that's not too tough. They can just cheese it on. Do I have enough magic maps to just, like, every level? Yeah, I do. It looks like I have some, um, charge armor. No. I don't even have it. I think I can probably drop that chainmail. I've got better chainmail now. It's actually protective of the stuff. Uh... I mean, don't know that spell when I tried... Hold up. And I'll do H as well to get out of the cactus giant if I want to, to add to my army. Did I? Oh, I didn't raise my torch. I should raise my torch pretty soon. What else have we got here? We've got Fire of the Boots, Manual of Hexes. I might be able to do a Manual of Hexes. My Fire of the is looking pretty amazing right now. Three pups. Um, There's also money, which I don't need. Yeah, let's do the Manual of Hexes. I mean, sure. I'm trading hexes, so... <laughs> it's technically useful, if not that useful. 
Oh, Stu's not a two chemas a ball guy. Wait, hold on. Is two chemas a uh, smite target? I hope so. Where is it? Why does it tell me I can't cast it? It's forty percent on that dude. Oh, it's not smite targeted. Come on. That's just wrong. Um. But hey, you run up to this guy and they can two chemas it a bit. So one use, two uses. <laughs> Well, I guess that's 2% of the way there. <laughs> yeah, no, that's going to take a little while if it's not smite targeted, because I always have all the guys in front of me. It's going to make that a little bit more awkward. Huh? I mean, it's berserk, but I also took away its weapon, so I'm not sure how that will be. This guy going berserk will be a bit tougher. Although I was half dead by the time I went berserk. Man, I wish this was smite targeted, because I can't get my two keepers darts and anything. Not that's enough. That's enough tries. All right. But that is at least something that you can easily check in the RC, uh, not the RC file, the dump file at the end. Or not even at the end, just like uh, when you make a dump file, you can just go check, um, see how many cards you have. I think it's somewhere near the end of the file. All right, so. Hold up. The guy doesn't have to have a weapon for me to cast it. Fascinating. Anyway. <laughs> I don't want to spend too much of my magic points, but it's uh, definitely fascinating that it doesn't technically need a weapon for me to be casting two Kiva starts on it. It's going to make it easier to get my casts up. Um, it didn't say that they had to be useful. <laughs> sure. That's not so stupid, but hey, I'm so near the end of the game. I've got to get the cast up somehow. What skills do I need right now? Um, my hex is alright. I might just get a little bit more hexes. Let's see. It's three percent failing. I'll try and get it down to one percent failure. I think because it doesn't actually matter for these six heads of paging. Six heads is probably a good thing. No, I don't know why I'm too camering the sky, but I am. That's just ridiculous, but hey. Uh, please give me a thing that can actually see this guy. What's, uh, what is that? Do I have a Mind Viper or something? I don't have Magic Poison. It's got a Malian, I guess, because I don't think any of my guys can see it, unfortunately. Also, I haven't raised my torch yet, and I should Magic Map, and I should rage my torch when I next see a creature. Alright, and then I should 2 keepers it, of course. <laughs> Pretty sure I can't two keepers myself. Uh, in fact, I don't think I'm allowed to because that would leave me unarmed. And I'm not allowed to do unarmed. I have to use a separate weapon in each hand. I mean, obviously, if like you're trying to swap weapons and then you, something bad happened to you, like you got attacked and you weren't able to swap weapons, it would probably be forgivable. I'll cancel off that mic, but... Hmm. That's not great. All right, get to keep it, dude. <laughs> and I wish it was like an easier way of checking like how many times I've two keep it, guys. But no, I don't reckon it'll be a problem. This one actually has weapons. So my uses of two keepers are actually useful. Uh, do I care about the short sword? It's got seven inches and a bit of cold resist. I'm still using, like, my spell for willpower. Like, I've kind of got my items uh, with uses set out. Can I cast up my own little zombie? Oh, hold up. Can I, like, super cheese this right now? Oh, I think I can. I can just cast it on my own zombie? That's, that's not intentional. Surely not. <laughs> I think I'll try and stick to two keywords and up enemies, but that's that's hilarious. You can cheese that so easily just by two keywords and your own zombie. 
Uh, yeah, getting to 100 cars would not be a problem. All right, what do we want to do? Um, maybe just some fighting? Yeah, that's actually good. 20 is a limit. Oh, probably the same old armor and uh, dodging. Definitely dodging because they're going to manual on it. Oh, another dude for me to two chemists make his weapon dance. Having dancing weapons is really fun, though, as a Zanata cosplay. Because I don't think you could get them really any other way apart from two chemising people, right? All right, let's go down. This looks fine. So I can summon it by dudes. Bring on my army. I mean, I guess this is fine. I can throw in a couple of two chemists as well, just for fun. Where's uh, magic mapping? 50% of ridding it of his weapon. All right, well, <laughs> my luck is not quite on my side, but there we go. Oh, hey, orb of fire. Currently slowed. Um, Love to haunt this dude. How's my magic points doing? I need a brilliant stone eye. Hopefully that gives me enough magic points. Yeah, goodbye, all the fire got surrounded. They don't have to live too long while surrounded. They can live a lot longer while not surrounded. <laughs> I don't want to keep using that guy. It's kind of silly. The two keepers ones are weak, or the dancing ones, aren't they, like, specifically weaker than normal dancing weapons? What does it say about it? I mean, it doesn't say a lot about it. Interesting. I guess it's a lowish level spell, right? So it can't make it too tough. Um, this one's still got a weapon, right? Oh, all the fire. All right. Um, do I, do, I might do another brilliance. Again, I'm kind of getting myself low magic points. Oh, my scrolls. I'm going to have to reset that one. But uh, before I reset that one, I should go and kill the Orb of Fire. Come on. Actually haunt it. That would be nice. That's plenty of creatures. So uh, hopefully I can just let it chill for a while. Yeah, I'm getting low on the creatures. So let's do the haunt again. Wait, well, that wasn't a haunt. That was the wrong thing. Where's my haunt? Um... I've been casting it, like, for a while, so I should know what it is, but apparently I just forgot. Right, well, it's gonna reset that. I've got plenty of mutations, so it should be fine. Right, I've got nine. I think I can go buy another one if I need to, maybe. So I feel Calaf and I shall not control me. That sounds fine to me. In fact, intelligence is pretty good. Makes my 4% fail in the haunt. I, uh... Oh. Not exactly what I want. Hold up. Um, I might just fear these dudes up. Get some dudes around me. <sighs> no, wait, two cubers is not going to work on that guy. As, uh, I actually want to get to be effective when there's this many guys around. Ow. Back up a little bit. Half of these guys are dying, which is nice. If I could keep an enemy between me and them, it would be nice. Um... Oh, wait, this one's going to go berserk. i got to queue up the spoils as well, because that's going to do a bit of damage. Um... Oh, it did go berserk. I thought it might. That's a little unfortunate. What else can I do? Um... I hold some torch light and it doesn't do much. Okay, that's a little useful shift, I guess. Oh, I might be out of magic points. Oh, two death gobs. I got a drink a potion of magic, I think. Um, where is that one?
and then I can haunt one of these guys. I might no longer, I'm no longer like, uh, got brilliance on her or anything. In fact, I don't think I've had that for a while. All right, let's try to heal up. Uh, my end is not that down right now, which is fine. Come on, there's got to be a way I can two cube as the one I want to. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I'll just let them find out. Oh, hey, uh, hey, dear Matt. Fancy seeing you here. I don't have to kill you this time now, but I think I will. I want to just retreat up a bit. In fact, I kind of want to soul my dear Matt, see if she can survive. That would be interesting. Uh-oh, Moth of Wrath. I think it will die, right? Right? Hold up. I need my guys to go for the Moth of Wrath. Please? I think I can get them with an acid. There we go. Oh, they can't see it, can they? I mean, the hot guys probably can, I guess, at least. Um, how much is this level I've done? I've done like half of it. I think I go up, but unfortunately I lose my torch. It's all right. I'll just go down somewhere else and explore there, I guess. I'm also going to check on my two keepers. I don't think it's anywhere near uh, completed. But if I go to here, I just search for, like, two keepers. It should show it. Uh, not that one. The next one. So this one's... 81 uses. Okay, that's more than I thought. So I've only got to get another 20 uses in. In fact, I might try and get some on tier bad. Is that going to work? No, it's not. Of course not. Um, how's tier bad's willpower? It's setting up four? This might be a little bit crazy, but if I just do a vulnerability... You know what, dear Matt? Drop. Oh, what? Why did that swap pages? That's not right. Why? Why would it enter swap pages there? I don't get it. If I close up the. Hey, how many of these uh, do I have opened? Well, <laughs> um, if I close those up, maybe it won't. <sighs> what? Why does pressing enter. Oh, come on. Okay. Is this some. Can I just mouse target it or something? Yeah, now pressing enter seems to work just fine. No, I don't think disarming Tiamat's gonna work here. I'll just kind of try it to see if I can get it to work, but I can't spend all my magic points doing that. That would be a terrible plan. Uh... Oh god, Tiamat's slow. That's what I like to see as well. Alright. I do see an army of, like, black draconians there. There we go, Tiamat died. Um, I might just get back to the staircase, though, and just go down a different one, but that was not too bad. Oh, hey, Moth of Wrath. Uh, not Wrath, not the other one. Moth of Draining Magic Points Ghost Moth. I got a tentacle monstrosity out, it'll be fine. Is this the right staircase? Oh, don't know that spell, that's not what I'm trying to do. I think it's the right staircase. Um, get two game a day first try. I mean, it was like 50% chance or something, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised when it works first try. Oh, hey, two game with that dude up as well. Come on, get two game it. Man, I spent way too much magic points trying to just two game with that guy up. Um,. It was probably the questionable thing to do. All right. Well, I think it's time to go back to the staircase, get the magic points back. Uh, this looks fine. If I just two keep us again back. There we go, I've got a big, nice little big ar well, nice big army. Not a nice little army. I want my army to be big. Uh, okay. Dude, wait, my cloak is... Oh, up. 
My five towards is a pretty good. I'm like, just got the resistance. I've put this on, I go from 33 armor class to 38 armor class, and I'm one fire cover shot. I think that's worthwhile. Uh... Oh. Can I just get out some poison or something? I'm sorry to not get put in that guy's poison. Uh. Ow. Just got frozen. That's not ideal. I think that slows me down at retreating as well. Just too many of those guys in one spot. Um. Read the poison. I don't even see the guy, which is a bit of a worry. I want to end view. Um, so my guys can kill it. There we go. I think I've actually got to get out of here, though. <laughs> it's not quite working trying to fight those guys. So I've got to go... Straight back this way. Those guys should stay away because they're in like max view distance. So I should just be able to get to the staircase and heal up. I just throw the cheeky two cameras not quite with that guy, unfortunately. I might be able to with this guy. Whatever, it's, uh, it's lost his weapon. Alright, well, I can go... Oh, that's not a downstairs thing. I can go downstairs. I got two more levels of Zod. And presumably about ten more uses of two keepers to get, I think. I mean, I might just two keepers this guy. It's silly. There we go. Ten uses of two keepers right there. So I'm probably down to very few uses remaining. Uh, let's just magic map this out. So, oh, well, the center of this level is just completely missing. That guy's actually got a weapon, so I might actually be able to get some use out of my two keepers. Um, I want, I'm trying to just get in a... Oh, I've got my map view up, don't I? What? No? What's going on here? I'm trying to... Wait, what's E? He's hard. Oh, right, 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 right. I know what I'm doing. I'm trying to get out these guys, and then I'm trying to hoard this dude up. There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> For some reason, I got my spells completely messed up in my head. Uh, like, which one was which? Okay. I haven't lit my torch yet, so... <sighs> what do you do to me? Minus scrolls? Come on. I don't even have any magic points right now, which is a bit of a problem. I don't even think I can charm this dude, can I? Oh, maybe I can. Right, now I can just tell it to, like, run away and then I can go get my magic points upstairs. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> There's a dragon waiting for me upstairs, of course. Alright, well, I might just go down another staircase. I think that one was kind of still surrounded. How's this one? Not very far, but I guess it's far enough. Okay. Gonna activate my torch. This one can send things berserk, but I think it's not too bad. Uh, I gotta quickly check my two keepers again. That's gotta be done by now, right? Surely, let's see. Uh, third one I think was actually showing the number, so it said it'll be. Yeah, there we go. Two keepers is this one, so it's on. 108 uses, good. Don't have to worry about that one anymore, so that's excellent. Huh, you can auto explore. I guess it was stopping for something. I don't even know what it was stopping for there. Okay, let me just check the challenges, see which ones I got left, because I feel like I'm doing pretty well. So, uh, have more collateral kills than direct kills. I, that's probably going to happen because I'm a summoner. I imagine it will happen. Enslave at least nine uniques. Yep, I've done that. 
Cast you keep dance at least 100 times. If you don't have the spell, I do have the spell, so don't worry about that. By the time you reach Lair, the orcs mines the depths of vaults. Use armor made of metal. I've been doing that. The chain mail, scale mail, ring mail, plate mail, even. In fact, I think I've used it every single time, at least once. Use two different weapons, good. So I'm doing what I need to do. This is looking good. But at that two keepers one is so cheesy, though, with the fact that you can just use it on your own zombie over and over and over until it's done. It doesn't actually have to be an enemy to cast the spell, so it's kind of silly. Uh... Oh, what's this book here? It's got some blast modes, sure. And I'm done with level four of Zod, so let's just go downstairs. Oh no, that doesn't look good. It's two of my staircases. I'm going to go up because it's a death. Cobb. Hmm, that's fine. Because at least I can bring this one up and then just, like, lignify myself. I don't have that many lignify. Uh, can I lignify myself? Yes, right? Because there's a five for my armor to be melted. Is that what I said? You can have that body armor melted if you want. Good. Which means I can drink a lignification here. But otherwise I couldn't, because see, it, like, melts my body armor. I mean, it can't show it there. Like, over here, you can see it's melted. Um... Oh, that's the wrong one. I need get out my zombies and haunt this guy. Can I haunt it again? There we go. I'll s it's a spell I call, like my haunting guys, but it should be fine. I'll get through it eventually. All right, good. Of course, I want to magic map this level out. It's the last level is on, so let's see how traps are. That side's all right. That side's a net trap. So I'll go with the side that's all right. It's definitely better than a net trap. Uh, invisibility, sure. What am I even training right now? Just uh, fighting? Oh, why am I focusing the fighting? It does really matter. Dodging's good, because that's got a thing on it, but I don't think a mouse be good. Wait, it got 39 armor classes, like a spellcaster? That's more than I usually end up on a spellcaster. I mean, again, it makes sense, because I got some plus uh, 7 scale mail or something, which is pretty good. Uh... Okay, I need my guys to get rid of that summoner. Good. I think we're good now. There's a death toe there, and I can tell because of something all the mushrooms, so... If I lignify, it should be fine. Let's just get that lignification going. I should probably buy some of those, because I think they're worth some for sale. And I'm down to just one left or something, so... Oh, I haven't lit my torch yet, actually, so I can totally just leave. Um... Yeah, it's two on dungeon level eight. I should probably go get those from the changing room that we've got up here. Anything else I want? I didn't really get into alchemy or shapeshifting or anything. I got the mutations as well. Those could be useful. All right, let's go back to Zot 5. I think any staircase is probably fine. I'm going to light my torch. I think I should. A moth. Um... Alright guys, charge! Charge up and fight these, uh... Mainly one of these called, um, Orb Guardians this time round. Which are not too bad when you've got an entire army after you. Okay, I'm gonna unexclude this area. Well, this is going into the, like, the lung chambers proper here. Should I just be able to haunt a ghost moth? I think these dudes can see invisible. I'm sure I lose all my magic points or whatever, um... That's going the right way, which of course it will, because it will ignore the net trap, of course. Uh, gotta start a brilliance just in case I get low on magic points. Hey, over fire, yep, starting the brilliance seemed like a good idea. I could probably do a resistance as well, just to get that third pip of um fire resist going.
Anything else I could do here to hold these guys back for a bit? I want to hold this guy. Get rid oh, slow me down, didn't it? Might just cancel that up with a bit of haste potion. Oh, the orb fire's destroyed. Excellent. That's what I like to see. How's this dude just killing everyone that gets it all close to it? Why are these guys moving away from here? Don't do that. Keep pressing the attack, please. Alright, you know to go for next. There's only one guy there, so I don't think my uh, guy's are gonna get confused about who to attack. Oh, I'm in a net trap. Um, I should be able to get out of this. Magic points are getting kind of low. I might just drink some because I got five magic potions here. Uh, it's another orb of fire. Um, I lost my haste. What do I want to do? Could do a... Might do a shackles, but I gotta think about what else to do. Um, whoa. My, wait, my, where did the minus potion come from? I've got minus scrolls, minus potion. Hold on, that's... Uh, well, minus potion triggered from the cloud, but I've got the minus uh, scrolls mutation that I never reset. Hold up. That's an actual problem, isn't it? I'd love to drink a healing potion right now, but I can't. Okay. Throw some acid at the cloud because, oh, it's out of range. What can I throw at it? Gotta be something. I don't think a mind bus will get it, will it? Nah, 7%. Okay, what else do I have? I got a whopping? I mean, maybe. I temporarily gets rid of it. Um, except there it is back again. Uh, all the clown maybe. Oh, that doesn't seem to work very well. And of course, I'm out of magic potions. I can't drink any magic potions right now, which is a problem because I got the minus potions. You hope I find so shackled, but without magic points, I don't know what to do. Ooh, ow. Hey, I can drink potions again. Okay. Drink a healing potion. And then follow that up with a magic potion, I think. So I got the orb of fire shackled. I might follow it up with another healing potion. That does. Uh, nice to be able to drink potions again, definitely. I wanted to get all the brilliance, but I think I need to get out some more guys first. Oh, I've lost my shackles, unfortunately. Oh, well, still kind of there. I'm just not in it anymore. Um, need a brilliance going. All right, let's just back up a little bit. I kind of threw a lot of potions at that, but I think it was the right thing to do just to get me through that situation. It was a bit of a shame with the minus potions, but I need to actually reset my mutations right now. Um, Yeah, let's drink some of these because I don't want the minus scroll. That's terrible. What have we got? Low magical capacity, willpower, shallow things. This is a slight negative. I might reset them again. They're not terrible. I might make this worse. Let's see. Teleport next monsters. I sure did. Oh, not that. Don't drink that. Um, drink the, drink the correct thing here. I'm drinking. So I've got it, freeze. Oh, ah, I don't want to freeze my own dudes. I think I gotta reset that. I think it freezes my own dudes. So I've got AC. I've got AC. Okay, that's good. That's that's purely good. So I can go with that. Yeah, about forty two AC. That's what I like to see. Hmm. Want the clown? All right. Well, spell book. Am I have dragon school? No, it's going confusing. Touch dragon school would probably be the main thing that would make a difference fighting at this point, because that's a, always a really fun spell to cast. I probably could in my armor, maybe. I don't know. I do have wizardry. 
and I'm only wearing, what, chainmail? I mean, I guess chainmail doesn't cover you quite a bit, but still. Oh, don't mark me. I've got a cancellation. I don't have any buffs on right now, so... Yeah, let's just do that and then back up. And I'll see what else comes... Oh, we'll see what comes along. Oh, that dude does. And it slows me, which is not ideal. Depending how much other stuff comes along, I'll definitely back up a little bit. Hey, Lich. Um, I might step down there. This is, oh, I did get on the trap. And I'm having a tough time here to actually getting anything out. Oh, that's not good. I got a... Frozen? I think I've actually got a blink back here. This is not looking great. No, that Lich has come along at a bad time. Um... Let's try pull the things back out into here. Okay, I can bring out a few creatures as I run. Uh, do the brilliance again. I could probably haunt the lich and then just tell everyone to get it, and it should be fine. Woo. Alright, well, I'm so close, but, uh, there's all the creatures I brought in with that mic, um... Oh, hey, level 26. Okay, I guess intelligence. I mean, that's helpful. I can always use intelligence for this character. I love how some of like, it's still okay, but when you don't get a good spell list, like, uh, the spell list is decent. But, like, I haven't got Dragon School, list, so you don't have to get a perfect spell list to make a summoner work. It's kind of nice. I mean, obviously, it's better if you do have a better spell list, but, like, Horde does the trick. You've got options. You've got Horde. You've got... Let's go with some horrible things. Yeah, I've definitely got options. Can I import that? I don't know if I can. Um, I don't think I can. Okay, well, I guess it's just a matter of running all the way up to it then. <laughs> Oh, come on. I don't have a way of dispelling that dude. Um, I just run back into a... Duh. See, I was going to say I was going to run back until it disappears, but this isn't quite working for that. Hold up. What are those guys doing there? Oh, this is actually probably going to require a blink. This is bad. I'm actually running a little bit low on these blinks. Um, oh, the cloud's still next to me. Ah, that's better. The guy's zapping me, but I think I can still kill it. I might just go all the way around here. Hopefully that will stop that um, ice feeds from following me still. I guarantee that it will, but it might. At least I can go up if I need to there, but yeah, I'm getting a little bit low on the blinks, but I think this is fine. Let's go back into here. There's still definitely a dreadlitch. There it is. Okay. Loves the spell on my guys, of course, which makes it a little bit difficult. Well, bringing his own fairly tough guys. Um, no, not there. Ah, <sighs> dead set it off. I was hoping that I'd be able to bring in the, some guy next to this uh, guy. Like, on top of the trap, and then it wouldn't be able to set off the trap, but obviously I was completely wrong. I do need the enlightenment. Where is that? Not the blind, but the brilliance. There we go. Um... And I probably need a resistance as well because the orb of fire is zapping me with a bit of fire. Don't run at me, guys. Go keep fighting that orb of fire, please. <sighs> Got me with fragile. Right, I see.
one of those few times that it actually had a chance to hit me with something. I might just run all the way back to the staircase and just try and rest up a little bit. Of course, there's creatures here. It's not the perfect running back through there, but I think this... Oh, nope, there's not a fire. Wow. Um, Last brilliance, I guess. All right. I do still have magic potions, so it's fine that I'm on my last brilliance, I guess. Yeah, I feel like I'm having to find so many unnecessary creatures with uh, all the alarm traps that are getting set off. It's, um, yeah, it's caused a few, like, orbs of fire and stuff to come out, but hopefully... Hey, look at that. I can go grab the orbs out there. All right, let's just go to dodge level zero. Um... <laughs> Don't have any magic regen or something, so I gotta be a little bit careful with my magic points. But summoning's actually pretty good for retreating up. Because sometimes you can just dump, like, down summons and then just keep on running and the creature will totally get distracted. Um... And then, of course, I get the things that come out when stuff dies and all that sort of thing, so... Yeah, I've got plenty of means to distract enemies here. Whoa, what am I on? Floor, okay. There goes the torment. Bound as expected. But if I get to the staircase, I should be able to chug like an ambrosia or two before I go up. At least that's the plan. Oh, maybe three? I didn't get that healed by the ambrosia. That'll do. Let's just uh, cancel this. Wait, not cancel. Uh, curing this. Whatever. Same thing. Cancel up the uh, confusion. Uh... Keep on moving, of course. What am I on? Oh, that looks tough. How fast is this dude? Not fast? Okay. That's good. Because I can just do... Do a little loop, I think. Oh, come on. It's a pandemonium lord. Fine. Fine, okay. I'll go different staircase, I guess, in that case. I don't need these exclusions anymore. They're whatever they were, it won't be that hard for anymore, so I can just keep on moving up here. More dodge level three, I'm getting close. What is this? Dodge level 2? Alright. This guy's slow and I could probably just outrun it as well. Uh... Hey, that's the exit. Alright, let me just double check what I need to do, but I'm pretty sure I've done everything. So, oh, I probably need to dump my character files so I can see the latest one of those. Um... So, let's check for the top. For the top, okay. Use two different types of weapons for the whole game. I did that. I didn't use shields, didn't use two-handers, didn't use unarmed. Okay, that's good. For armor, I did, in fact, use uh, metal armor throughout the game, which is good. Use two keepers darts at least a hundred times. I'll just double-check that, but I'm pretty sure I got that. Yes. It's sitting on 108 uses. Excellent. Enslaved nine uniques. I'll double-check that, but I'm pretty sure that was the case. Otherwise, it would be a bit bad now if it wasn't. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. That's showing nine enslaved uniques. Have more collateral kills than non collateral kills. So it wanted me to search for something to find that. It needed me to search for Vanquished, okay? Uh, Vanquished Creatures, I got, oh, it's a list now, I did almost 600, and Collaterals was 1,400, yeah, over double the, uh, Collaterals, so that's excellent, because I was a Sumner, basically, I didn't start as one, but I became one, and I win the game, okay, so all I've got to do is win the game, and I've done all those things, so let's just go win the game.
All right, excellent. That was nice. First try again, which is amazing. I <laughs> love the elemental stuff. And the, the spear of willpower was pretty good as well. All right, well, that was a good game. Uh, that was an amazing, uh... Oh, what is it called? Gizmo for this character with the whole wizardry, repel missiles, magic poison, resist poison, resist corrosion. I think I used everything on there. Yeah, no, that was a really fun character. Um, I need to grab the morg file here. Oh, it's just over four hours. That's pretty quick as well. All right, grab the morg file. Uh, where do I submit this run? Should be a submit a run button here somewhere. Uh, I need to select my name, so I'm wizard. I, I hate to enter it under the wrong person, but it'd be pretty obvious when you looked at the URL here. And it's got the name wizard Ike in it for the morgue. Estimate my points. Yes. So I did that, did that, did that. All right, so we just tr click try hard and select them all, and then we submit. Excellent. There we go. That's uh, week two done of this challenge. I wonder how many people have managed week two so far. Um... If I just duplicate this, you could probably see, like, if I go back to the tournament page. I don't know if any of them have been scored yet. Wait, why are these people up the top? These were meant to be sorted. Huh, strange. I think the CF, 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 CF person died, unfortunately. They had, like, they had, like, lots of stuff, and then they just died. It was really sad. Yeah, so it looks like, it looks like no one's managed this challenge just yet, which is fair enough. I don't, I don't know why those two on top. Oh, total 70 points. Wait. Oh, no, that makes sense, but, uh, the points just haven't been shown here. So some people got some points on these. They just haven't got max points on this challenge yet. Interesting. So there's definitely been some submissions. Huh. That would make sense why they're up the top. Anyway, I might finish up a bit earlier today. Um, Let's go see if there's someone to raid. I think uh, Tannis was streaming, but I think he finished a while back. Yeah, looks like it's just me streaming Cruel, unfortunately. So... Who is there I could raid that in that case? There's... Hmm. That's not a lot of people I know online right now. Oh, there's Dr. Incompetent Gamer playing Banner Lo Lords, I mean. I might go raid him, see what he's doing in, in Banner Lords at the moment. I've raided him for ages. 